Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. I, the containment object is exposed at the beginning. Chapter 21. The voice on the screen just finished. Tsunade and Jiraiya's expressions changed drastically. That kind of monster was going to appear in their world. This was not a good thing. Okay. Come on if you feel like it. If I can kill that kind of monster, I don't know what kind of reward I will get. On the contrary, Naruto was very excited. When he saw the rewards that Aokiji and the others received in front of him, he was very excited. It would be great if he could get them too. Idiot. What's so good about this? After hearing this, Jiraiya immediately became furious and punched Naruto in the head. If this kind of creature really appears, do you know how many people will die? Jiraiya scolded him extremely harshly. After hearing this, Naruto realized that his idea was too naive and couldn't help but lower his head in shame. Appeared. At this time, Shizune pointed at the screen and shouted. I saw that in a small town, a building suddenly caught fire. This looks like a fairly ordinary fire. But the four people with the arrival of the fireman would not think so. If you look closely, you can see that there is a seemingly large spark in the flame that is beating constantly. It seems to be nearby. Let's go. After Jiraiya finished speaking, he made a decisive decision and ran out immediately. Tsunade had already taken action. Shizune and Naruto immediately chased after seeing this. As soon as they came out, they saw thick smoke not far away, so they immediately jumped on the roof and hurried away. When they arrived at the scene of the incident, they discovered that it was just a building on fire. Now I don't know when it spread to several buildings. The screams of people trapped in the sea of fire are endless, but they quickly disappear one by one. There's already a victim. Jiraiya looked very ugly, he didn't expect it to happen so quickly. Find that burning man quickly. Only by getting rid of it first can you stop the fire from expanding. After Tsunade finished speaking, she immediately formed a seal with her hands, and Jiraiya immediately formed a seal as well. Water escape. Water dragon bullet. The two of them used this move at the same time to spit out a water dragon and rush toward the sea of fire to extinguish the fire. In the way. Just then a rather low roar sounded. On a building not far away, Huo Ren stood looking at Jiraiya and Tsunade. How long had passed before it had already taken on a human form, and it was unknown how many people and other flammable objects it had swallowed. Are you the pyroman? Watch the trick. The art of multiple shadow clones. When Naruto saw Pyro, he immediately transformed into a large number of shadow clones and rushed towards Pyro together. Naruto. Don't be impulsive. Seeing Naruto's actions, Jiraiya shouted anxiously. However, Naruto didn't care so much. He always did whatever came to his mind and never stopped. I saw a large number of shadow clones pressing on the burning man's body, forming a small mountain. He he he, this will put out the fire. Naruto looked proud. He didn't know how to use water escape, but he also knew how to put out fires, so he came up with this strategy. Then I couldn't help but wonder if I could get any reward. Hoo ho ho. The next second, majestic flames burst out from the bottom, directly destroying all Naruto's shadow clones. Ah. After Naruto's body was burned, he fell to the side in pain, rolling back and forth trying to put out the fire. At this moment, Pyro had arrived next to Naruto, ready to devour him. Water Dragon Bomb. Fortunately, Jiraiya spit out the water dragon in time to attack the fireman. Boom. A large amount of water splashed up, and Naruto was blown away, while the fire on his body was extinguished. Shizune immediately caught Naruto and treated him. Really, you are too messy. Shizune scolded with some heartache. Water. Hate it. Pyro looked at Jiraiya with a disgusted tone. If you hate it, disappear completely. At this time, Tsunade was already above Pyro, and her fists gathered huge amounts of chakra. Wei Li punched down. Boom. Tsunade's punch directly created a huge crater, and the terrifying destructive power directly shattered Pyro's body. Sure enough, there is no entity. Tsunade looked at the fiery fist. When she attacked Pyro, there was no touch, which meant that physical attacks were useless. Tsunade get out of the way. At this time, Jiraiya ran over, his throat and mouth expanded rapidly. He mobilized a large amount of chakra this time, and the water dragon bomb he spat out was quite huge. 
He pressed it towards Pyro, and he must extinguish Pyro in one go. Boom. In the next second, Pyro's split body suddenly exploded and exploded into countless tiny sparks flying around, avoiding the attack of water dragon bombs. Then the pair of sparks immediately moved toward the distance and gathered together, returning to the human form of the Pyro Man. After Huo Ren returned to his human form, he did not fight Jiraiya, Tsunade and the others, but ran towards the nearby crowd. He was going to use people as a shield to act as a defensive weapon for Jiraiya and Tsunade. No. Run. Tsunade saw this scene and shouted anxiously to the group of people. The group of people were frightened when they saw the burning man rushing towards them, and they quickly ran away to avoid it. But the pyroman was very fast and knocked down several people at once, burning and devouring them. He also continued to release sparks to attack the surrounding areas, causing more and more people to fall down with serious injuries and unable to escape. Wu. When Tsunade saw the group of seriously injured people, she had to be stunned because she saw a lot of blood. Those who were touched by the sparks had their flesh and blood exploded, and their blood flowed to the ground uncontrollably. Tsunade looked at the blood everywhere and her body couldn't help but tremble. Tsunade. When Jiraiya saw Tsunade like this, he knew that she was suffering from anemia, so he had no choice but to move towards the Horo first. Water release. Great waterfall technique. Jiraiya spit out a huge ball of water, turned into a waterfall, and fell towards the burning man. He deliberately controlled the power so as not to hurt anyone, just to extinguish the fire. After devouring more people, Pyro became taller. When he saw the waterfall that was about to fall, his legs suddenly exploded. It actually relied on the power of the explosion to throw the upper half of its body, avoided the waterfall, and rushed into a residential building. Ah. The next second, there were many screams in that building, and you could see the sea of fire spreading through the windows. How can this guy be so smart? The difficulty level of Pyro Man is far beyond Jiraiya's expectation. If this continues, things will really get out of hand. Tsunade, we have two. Jiraiya looked at Tsunade behind him, and saw that Tsunade was staring at the bleeding people, panting, and seemed unable to move for a short time. Well, seeing this, Jiraiya didn't know what to say, so he could only enter the residential building first. Watching the battle between Jiraiya and Tsunade, many people made barrages. Tony Stark, what's going on with these two people? They can fly over walls and fly over walls, and they can spit water. Why is this woman so powerful? Luffy, is this a devil fruit? But it's so handsome. Barton, they said it was a ninja before. Is this a ninjutsu? Bruce Wayne, it's impossible, ninjutsu is like this. Shizun, this is ninjutsu. It uses the chakra in the human body to change the five elements and use various moves. Nick Fury, what, what is that chakra? Shizun, it's the power within the human body. Sun Wukong, Oh, it's like chi. It can actually produce water. It's kind of interesting. Ancient one, that one named Sun Wukong, do you have similar power? Sun Wukong, yes, chi is the life energy of human beings. You can fight and release chi gung waves. Kazaru, the power within the human body is very similar to our hockey. Luffy, hockey, what is that? Kazaru, it is the power of a person. It can strengthen oneself and predict other people's moves. By the way, hockey can fight against devil fruit. Even if the opponent is a natural type, it can hit the entity. Even if you are a rubber man, it can hurt you. It is great. A move that everyone will use in the second half of the channel. Akainu. What are you talking about Kazaru for? Kazaru. Sorry, sorry, I got interested. Aboard the Thousand Sunny. Luffy and the others were exposed to the concept of hockey at this moment, opening the door to a new world. Hockey can hit natural entities and even hurt me. No wonder Grandpa's fists are so powerful. It turns out this is domineering. Luffy showed a bit of excitement. Since everyone in the new world can do this trick, he must be able to do it too. I just don't know how to learn it. I wish I had asked my grandfather to teach me. Then he continued to focus on the screen. The various ninjutsu in the world of Naruto were so cool that his eyes were shining. Marvel World, Karma Taj. Furuchi had to be stunned when he looked at Shizun, the barrage launched by Sun Wukong and Kazaru. 
Human beings in other worlds actually have energy similar to magic sources for cultivation, and they can cultivate to a very strong level. Make Ji Yuyi a little envious. Even though Ji Yuyi has powerful magic power, it was all borrowed from Emperor Weishan. The way of practicing magic in this world basically relies on magic items or contracts with demons. These methods often cost a lot. If you practice on your own, you will remain a magic apprentice for the rest of your life, unless you have a life span of several thousand years before you can achieve anything. I don't know how far I can cultivate chakra, domineering and ki. Ji Yuyi couldn't help but be curious and continued to look at the screen. DC Batman Base. Bruce Wayne looked at the screen in confusion. Chakra. Ninja. Watching the ninja battle on the screen, he felt that the ninja knowledge he had learned was a joke. Watching Jiraiya change his hand seals and spit out various water attacks, Bruce Wayne probably understood how to mobilize the ninjutsu in the Naruto world and that specific hand seals were necessary. Then he couldn't help but try to imitate such handprints. Water escape, water dragon bullet. However, nothing happened, and Bruce Wayne couldn't help but cough awkwardly. Fortunately, there was no one else here, otherwise it would be too embarrassing. It's just that this alone is not enough to deal with Pyro. Bruce Wayne looked at the screen solemnly. Now Jiraiya is constantly chasing Pyro inside the residential building. He used water dragon bullets, waterfall techniques, and all water escape ninjutsus. But Pyro is really fast and cunning, knowing how to use humans as shields. It made Jiraiya dare not directly aim at Pyro several times. The only thing worth saying is that with Jiraiya's efforts, the fire in the residential building was brought under control. Don't use people as shields. Jiraiya was angered by Pyro's actions and quickened his pace. He must use water escape at close range to ensure that he is not dodged by Pyro or used as a shield by others. Shadow clone technique. Then Jiraiya immediately created many shadow clones. The clones moved from various directions, forming a surrounding network and approaching the burning man. Boom. As a result, Pyro actually exploded himself in the next second, creating a terrifying explosion wave that destroyed his entire body. Jiraiya was blown directly out of the residential building. Boom. Due to the explosion, residential buildings began to collapse continuously, even affecting the surrounding buildings. At a glance, rows of buildings continued to collapse, forming huge ruins. Help. Woo 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 woo. Mother. Many people's cries for help and screams came from the ruins. They were ordinary people. They were unable to fight against the firemen in such a disaster, so they could only pray for help from others. Hold on. After Jiraiya heard the group's cries for help, he stood up with his injured body and tried to rescue everyone as much as possible. Everyone, hold on, I'll help you with treatment right away. Shizun also rushed over to help with the rescue, using medical ninjutsu to heal everyone. Injury. Tsunade saw many seriously injured residents. As a medical ninja, she should have helped treat them. But her fear of hemophobia prevented her from moving at all, and she could only stare blankly at the bloody scenes. The tragic scene of his brother's death flashed crazily in his mind. Hoo ho ho. At this moment, countless sparks came towards Tsunade and quickly condensed into human form. Through previous battles, Pyro has realized that Jiraiya and Tsunade are the two biggest threats, and must be dealt with first before it can eat with confidence. Now Tsunade is stunned on the spot, the flaw is huge, it is the best time to solve it. Tsunade. Seeing that Tsunade was about to be attacked, Jiraiya quickly warned him. Only then did Tsunade react and saw that Pyro was getting closer and closer to her. Danger. At this moment, Naruto arrived in time and flew Tsunade away, avoiding the fireman's attack. Seeing that his attack failed, Pyro immediately threw fireballs in pursuit. But it was quickly blocked by the flying water dragon bomb. Water escaped from the waterfall. Jiraiya couldn't miss this opportunity and immediately used the great waterfall technique to create a huge stream of water and pour it down towards the burning man. Although this will cover some people nearby, he has adjusted the power so it won't cause much damage. And it can prevent the firemen from looking for hostages. When Huo Ren saw such a large amount of water falling, he immediately escaped from the area and entered a large tavern. No. There are a lot of flammable materials in the tavern. Jiraiya quickly thought of alcohol and gas, and quickly chased after him. Naruto, thank you. 
Tsunade didn't expect that Naruto saved her, so she thanked her loudly and tried to help Naruto up. I don't need the thanks from you coward. Instead, Naruto slapped Tsunade's arm away angrily. I don't understand why a lustful immortal would think a coward like you could become Hokage. Naruto looked at Tsunade unwillingly. Obviously the lustful immortal was fighting desperately and many people were injured, but why didn't you do anything? Why should you be the Hokage like this? Naruto looked at Tsunade unwillingly, and then looked at the tavern that was already buried in the sea of fire. Pyro jumped out from above, growing even larger in size. Jiraiya, who was chasing after him, looked quite embarrassed. Ha 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 ha. Huo Ren looked at Jiraiya who was unable to catch up and kept laughing, seemingly laughing at Jiraiya's incompetence. You don't even have a face, stop making fun of people. Jiraiya was annoyed and spit out water dragon bullets continuously to attack. I saw a bunch of flame wings growing out of Pyro's back. After evolving to this point, he can make his body undergo more changes. Pyro flew through the air like a fish in water, dodging all the water blasters. Then he quickly flew in front of Jiraiya and punched him in the chest, knocking him to the ground. Then Pyro prepared to descend, to give Jiraiya the final blow, and to treat this troublesome human as his own food. Crash. At this moment, a large amount of water splashed down. It was the water dragon bomb that Jiraiya had used before. It lost its power after flying to a high altitude, and fell like a heavy rain, drenching the burning man. Causes Pyro to reduce a bit in size, causing it to howl in pain. Hee hee, this is the ninja's tactic. The final blow. After Jiraiya finished speaking, he formed seals with his hands, preparing to use his ultimate move to kill Pyro. At this moment, Jiraiya sensed that there was danger coming from behind. He turned around quickly and saw another pyro appear, knocking him to the ground. When did they split? Jiraiya looked at the burning man on his body in shock. He knew that pyro would divide and reproduce itself to a certain extent, but he didn't see it. Could it be that he was in the tavern just now, when he didn't notice it? The fireman held Jiraiya tightly and burned his body, trying to swallow Jiraiya inside his body. Let me go. Jiraiya struggled desperately, but he couldn't get rid of the fireman by physical means, and he couldn't form seals with his hands, so he couldn't use water escape to destroy the fireman. If he continues like this, he will turn into fuel for the burning man. Landful immortal. Naruto saw Jiraiya dying and rushed over immediately. Wait a minute. You can't water escape. Tsunade quickly warned when she saw Naruto rushing out. So what? I am the man who wants to become Hokage. How can I just watch my companions get into trouble? After Naruto answered naturally, he immediately used the multiple shadow clone technique. Becoming Hokage, you can't just let it go. Tsunade looked at Naruto's indomitable back, and thought of her younger brother, who is also like this, desperately trying to protect his companions. What a fool, a hot-blooded fool. No, it was me who was stupid. I almost forgot the most important thing. Tsunade showed a helpless look, tears slowly flowed down, and then she wiped them away hard. Naruto, don't come here. You need water to get rid of this. Jiraiya saw Naruto coming and quickly dissuaded him, not wanting Naruto to die. Don't worry. Although I don't know how to use water escape, I can also do a similar move. However, Naruto looked very confident. Then he gave an order and called on all the shadow clones to stand on a high place and surround Pyro. Water escape, the art of urination. All the Naruto's actually took off their pants and peed on the spot. A large amount of urine was poured on the burning man, and it actually put out the fire. Ah, this scene, let alone Jiraiya, even Tsunade and even everyone who saw it felt explosive. Pirate world. Thousand sunny. Ha ha ha. This guy named Naruto is really a genius, he actually thought of such an interesting method. Luffy found it very funny and laughed out loud. Nami felt embarrassed and covered her face. Not to mention this, the one named Tsunade is so beautiful. And she has a good figure. Sanji was swaying with a crazy look on his face. The first time he saw Tsunade, he had already fallen for her. So beautiful and so big. I agree. I really want to see her panties. Brooke shouted in agreement. Two perverts. After hearing this, Nami couldn't help but punch them both. Ah, Miss Nami is so great. On the screen at this time. Ah, 
After seeing that he was being extinguished and realizing that it was urine, Pyro immediately let go of Jiraiya angrily, stood up and looked around at Naruto, preparing to kill this guy first to vent his anger. Boo! At this moment, a violent sound of breaking wind sounded. I saw Tsunade quickly rushing to the front of the fireman, her hands already forming seals. Puff! A large amount of water spurted out from Tsunade's mouth, spraying onto Pyro's body without any reservation. Then a sound like boiling water appeared and white smoke kept coming out. When the water column dissipated, the burning man who was still standing now turned into a small spark, beating very weakly. Puff! Tsunade spat out another ball of water, completely extinguishing the fireman. Then he immediately used medical ninjutsu to treat Jiraiya. Sorry, I'm late. Tsunade apologized blaming herself. Your hemorrhage is cured. Jiraiya looked at Tsunade in surprise. Well, thanks to your idiot apprentice. Tsunade nodded. Hu ho ho. At this moment, a large number of explosions suddenly occurred on the opposite street. Explosions continued to occur in many buildings, and the sea of fire spread crazily. The screams of countless people kept coming. No. It's the first pyro. While we were being held back, he went to attack somewhere else. Jiraiya stood up anxiously. Let's go. Tsunade also noticed that things were getting worse and worse, and immediately ran over together. After arriving at the location of the Sea of Fire, it can be seen that this once bustling street has been turned into a purgatory, with burnt corpses scattered all around. Ha 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 ha. There were several firemen in the fire, looking up to the sky and laughing, and then continued to move farther away, swallowing more flammable materials and creating more fires. How long did it take for Pyro to cause such a huge disaster? At this moment, Jiraiya and Tsunade realized how terrifying this creature was. Once one is missed, it will be infinite war. Landful immortal, what should I do? Naruto's face was shocked and at a loss. I have a trick that can create a huge stream of water and extinguish all flames in one go, including those things. Jiraiya spoke slowly. But the problem is, how can we not miss anyone and not give them a chance to escape? This was the biggest headache for Jiraiya. He could never let go of any pyro. Haha, ha, do you still need to worry about this little thing? Just then a cold voice came. After the three heard this, they all turned around and saw Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto appearing behind them at some unknown time. Orochimaru. Why are you here? When Naruto saw Orochimaru, he felt like he was facing a formidable enemy. This was the murderer who killed the third Hokage. How could he not be seriously vigilant? I came to see Tsunade to help me heal my hands, but I didn't expect to see such a good show. Orochimaru looked at the burning people with a sneer, his eyes showing a fiery look. Although he didn't know what the burning man was, he had been observing in the dark and found that the burning man's physiological structure and vitality were extremely special. It can be said to be his ideal form of immortality. What on earth do you want to do? Jiraiya stood in front of Naruto, looking at Jiraiya with angry eyes. Why did you kill the teacher? Haha, ha, now is the time to talk about such things. Orochimaru sneered, too lazy to dwell on such matters. How about we make a deal? I'll help you deal with this creature, and Tsunade will help me heal my hands. I can also promise that I will never attack Konoha. This is a very good deal. Orochimaru made his request. Do you think we will agree? People like you are not worthy of trust. Naruto immediately refused because he didn't trust Orochimaru. No problem. However, unexpectedly, Tsunade agreed. Grandma Tsunade, what are you doing? The most important thing now is the situation in front of you. Tsunade immediately scolded Naruto. Of course she didn't want Orochimaru's help, but judging from the current situation, if she didn't accept it, she wouldn't be able to deal with the situation in front of her. Haha, <laughs> as expected of Tsunade, she is smart, Kabuto used the earth flow castle wall. Orochimaru laughed twice before giving the order. I understand what you mean, sir, but just rely on my chakra. It's okay, plus mine. After Orochimaru finished speaking, he opened his mouth, and a white snake flew out of his mouth and bit Kabuto's neck. This scene made Jiraiya and the three of them change their expressions. They hadn't seen Orochimaru for so long, especially Jiraiya and Tsunade. Their moods were even more complicated. Why was this guy getting more and more weird? Ooh, 
After Kabuto screamed in pain, his chakra suddenly increased significantly. This is Orochimaru injecting his chakra into Kabuto's body. Earth escape. Earth current city wall. Kabuto quickly formed a seal, jumped downstairs at the same time, and slapped his hands on the ground. Boom, boom, boom. The next second, the land around the sea of fire suddenly rose, forming a circular wall, surrounding the sea of fire. This sudden scene made the fireman, who was about to move in a further direction, stop and look at the surrounding earth walls in confusion. Then he launched a fireball attack in dissatisfaction, trying to blast a way out, but it didn't have much effect. Psychic Art At this time, Tsunade and Jiraiya used their psychic skills at the same time, and summoned the giant slug and Gamabunta. Jiraiya, how can I help you this time? Gamabunta asked. I will combine chakra with you and use the molten iron cannon with the greatest power and range to extinguish the fire. Jiraiya said. What? Putting out fires is just a trivial matter. Hey, wait a minute, why did I see some strange creature? Wentai asked with a puzzled look on his face. We'll talk about it later, help me first. After Jiraiya finished speaking, he immediately injected chakra into Gamabunta's body. Wait a minute. Lustful immortal, I don't know what you are going to do, but if you make any move, it will involve a lot of people. Naruto quickly ran over to remind. Don't worry, Tsunade is needed right now. Jiraiya looked at Tsunade next to him. Slug, please. No problem. After the big slug finished speaking, its body suddenly exploded, splitting into countless very small slugs, which fell towards the sea of fire ahead like a heavy rain. After this group of slugs fell into the sea of fire, chakra appeared all over their bodies to protect themselves, and then they looked for survivors and stuck to their bodies, releasing chakra to heal their injuries and form a shield. There are not many survivors, they are all protected. When the big slug said it, his tone was a little sad. Tsunade couldn't help but close her eyes when she heard that there would be a result so soon. Bunta. Compound ninjutsu. Hot metal cannon. As soon as Jiraiya finished speaking, Gamabunta's throat to mouth had swelled to its peak, and he suddenly spat out a water ball larger than himself, which quickly fell into the sea of fire in front of him like a meteorite. Boom. An astonishing explosion sounded, and countless water splashes followed the explosion and turned into heavy rain, falling all around. Although a lot of flames were extinguished this time, it also caused a lot of damage. The ruins that were already in disarray were almost reduced to powder at this moment, let alone the impact on ordinary people being involved. At this moment, the large number of slugs released by Tsunade earlier came into effect, and their shields protected the survivors from the explosion. Continue. Compound ninjutsu. Hot metal cannon. Jiraiya felt happy and continued to use joint skills with Gamabunta. Gamabunta spit out a large number of molten iron cannons in one breath, and fell towards the sea of fire in all directions. At this moment, Pyro Man's annihilation came. Their survival depends on the flames. Now that there are so many terrifying water balls falling, even if they are not hit directly, they will be hit by the subsequent splashes. Watching more and more flames being extinguished, he became weak from the water. Pyro began to become anxious and wanted to escape to a more distant place to avoid the splash. However, the surrounding retreat routes have been blocked by the city walls, and the Pyro man has no way to escape. Like catching turtles in a urn, they are constantly being eliminated. In the end, the terrifying sea of fire and burning people were finally extinguished and everything calmed down. We made it. Looking at the ruins that were no longer burning in front of him, Naruto couldn't help shouting excitedly, but when he saw the corpses on the ground and the dilapidated streets, he couldn't laugh out loud. Jiraiya and Tsunade too couldn't help but feel guilty, wondering if they could have had a different ending if they had been more careful and worked harder. What a magical creature. What exactly is this? Can you tell me? On the other hand, considering how much Orochimaru had sacrificed, in his opinion, it was normal for the battle casualties to affect Boneless. None of your business. Naturally, Tsunade couldn't have a good face towards Orochimaru's attitude. Haha, <laughs> forget it if you don't tell me, then as promised, it's time to treat my hands. Orochimaru demanded. Treatment. No problem. After Tsunade showed a smile, she suddenly punched Orochimaru. Kabuto Yakushi reacted quickly and immediately pulled Orochimaru back to avoid Tsunade's terrifying punch that vibrated the air. 
As expected, you can't really help me. Orochimaru had expected this and shrugged helplessly. How can I possibly help you with this, you who killed our teacher and wants to destroy your hometown? Tsunade's eyes were full of murderous intent. Although she was playing with the world, she also had principles. Orochimaru's various actions had violated her bottom line. In that case, let's see you next time. Orochimaru made a quick decision and stopped entangled. They had consumed a lot of chakra just to put out the fire. Moreover, Tsunade has overcome the hemorrhage, and joining forces with Jiraiya is a huge threat. He's not asking for trouble. Contained object, Pyro successfully contained it. Rewards are now distributed. At this moment, the electronic sound filled the ears of the five people. Who is it? Kabuto Yakushi and Orochimaru didn't know the situation, so they reflexively became wary of their surroundings. On the contrary, Jiraiya and the three of them already knew what was going on. Jiraiya gains the power of the Sage of Six Paths. Tsunade acquires three colors of hockey. Orochimaru and Kabuto Yakushi acquired the Sea Virus. Naruto is able to fully mobilize the power of the Kyubi. Six Path Sage is the ancestor of Chakra and the origin of ninjas. His power surpasses any known ninjutsu. The most famous of them are the Samsara Eye and Six Path Sage Mode. Three color hockey, a special power from the world of One Piece, is divided into the armed color that strengthens defense and strength, the insight color that predicts the opponent's actions, and the overlord color that is a natural king and shocks others. The C virus is a special virus in a certain universe. It can restructure biological institutions, gain amazing vitality, and further evolve. As a result, it is possible to completely lose your mind and become a monster. However, the C virus as a reward will not have this side effect. Quote. After the sound ends, Jiraiya felt like there was countless more information in his mind, and his body seemed to be changing. Ooh. Before he could digest it, he felt extremely uncomfortable all over. Then his skin color suddenly turned pale, and a pair of horns sprouted from the top of his head for unknown reasons. Then the eyes suddenly turned purple, with several circular lines spreading from the inside out. At this moment, Jiraiya's chakra was so terrifying that it erupted like a volcano. Ah! Jiraiya now felt extremely hot all over his body, his chakra expanded to the extreme, as if he was about to explode. This feeling made him uncomfortable, but it also contained a powerful pleasure. As the chakra erupts, the terrifying pressure spreads around. Making everything around him tremble crazily. Whoa whoa! What kind of chakra is this? Tsunade looked at Jiraiya in disbelief. She was now pushed back by Jiraiya's chakra pressure. Just when she was about to resist, her whole body suddenly turned dark and she felt stronger. Then a terrifying amount of domineering energy burst out from her body, actually blocking Jiraiya's breath forcibly, allowing her to stabilize her figure. Is this domineering? Tsunade looked at herself in confusion, thinking of the reward just now. Then she suddenly felt a change in the atmosphere around her. The crowd ran away in fear, and Jiraiya and Kabuto left. And Naruto's chakra also began to become terrifying. Naruto. Tsunade quickly checked on Naruto's condition. As a result, Naruto was seen radiating red chakra, and his appearance became quite ferocious, with three red chakra tails growing out. This looks like a monster. Nine-tailed demon fox. When Tsunade saw Naruto like this, she knew it was Kyubi's chakra, and her expression changed. She knows the terror of the Kyubi better than anyone else. Its chakra is full of violence and aggression. Once it is contaminated, it is very likely to lose personality. Is this the power of that guy inside me? It's so strong. While Tsunade was worried, Naruto was uncharacteristically looking at his body in confusion and excitement. He now feels that his whole body is full of power and feels particularly happy. He has used the power of the nine tails before, but it is not as good as today. Naruto, don't you feel something is wrong? Tsunade asked quickly as she watched Naruto use the power of the nine tails. No, I just feel a little heavy. Naruto shook his head. At this time, in the sealed world in Naruto's body, Julama looked around with a shocked expression. It felt that its power was flowing out uncontrollably. What's going on? Why does my power keep leaking out? What did this human do to me? Julama shouted anxiously, wanting to take back his power, 
but found that he couldn't control it, and could only watch his power leak out. Human. What on earth did you do to me? The nine llamas roared with great rage. If it hadn't been sealed, it would really want to go out and kill. Hey, wait a minute, what is this aura? At this moment, Ju Lama suddenly felt a powerful breath, which made him feel very familiar and nostalgic. Grandpa Ludao. Ooh. At this time, Naruto squatted down uncomfortably. He felt extremely stressed all over his body now, and his body seemed to fall apart. He quickly removed the power of the Nine Tails. It seems that you can't bear the power of the Nine Tails at all, so please stop making random moves. Tsunade was relieved to see that Naruto finally couldn't bear the power of the Kyubi. After all, the power of the Kyubi is too dangerous. If it is mobilized at will, the problem will be serious. Then Tsunade looked at Jiraiya. Now that Jiraiya's condition had stabilized, he was looking at his body in disbelief. Is this the power of the Sage of Six Paths? Jiraiya looked at his own changes in disbelief. He knew very well who the Sage of Six Paths was, but he was an existence older and more powerful than Senju Hashirama. He was the origin of ninjas and a godlike figure. How could he not be shocked that he actually gained the power of such an existence? Reincarnation I, Six Paths Mode, Shinra Tianzheng, Earth Explosion Star. Jiraiya had a lot of information and moves about the power of the Six Paths Sage in his mind. The huge amount of information was almost too much for him to digest and caused a severe headache. He had to quit the Sage of Six Paths Mode to breathe a sigh of relief. Huh, I have to take time to digest it. Jiraiya wiped the sweat from his head. He was so shocked by the power of the Sage of Six Paths. He truly deserves to be the god of the ninja world. E.H. Where are Orochimaru and the others? At this time, Jiraiya noticed that Orochimaru and Kabuto were not there, and immediately looked worried. He still remembers the so-called C virus. What is it? Rebuilding biological institutions may turn them into monsters, which makes Jiraiya feel very uneasy. At this time, Orochimaru and Yakushi Kabuto were already far away. Lord Orochimaru, won't you try again and let Tsunade help you heal? Kabuto Yakushi asked. No, that guy won't help. Orochimaru shook his head. He knew Tsunade very well, and that guy knew everything. What's more, don't we have other gains? Orochimaru finished speaking and looked at Kabuto's hand. Chakra gathered in his hand and compressed into a small spark. This spark was none other than Pyro, and now it turned into a spark that kept shaking, unable to break out of Kabuto's chakra restraints. Lord Orochimaru, should we take this creature back to study it? Yes, I have to study such an interesting thing carefully, and this. After Orochimaru finished speaking, he looked at the syringe containing the unknown liquid in his pocket. See virus. And what is that weird sound, and how did it come to me? Things are really getting more and more interesting. Orochimaru was not too worried about this strange situation, but was quite excited. After all, he was a scientific madman who dared to explore the unknown. It's interesting to restructure living things and gain amazing vitality. After Orochimaru finished speaking, he opened his mouth and spit out a white snake, biting the needle, and then used the white snake to stick the needle into himself to inject the C-virus. Lord Orochimaru. You are taking too many risks. Kabuto shouted anxiously when he saw this scene. But it can't be stopped now. Ooh. Orochimaru now felt that there seemed to be some kind of change in his body. He felt extremely uncomfortable all over his body and his muscles were squirming constantly. Ah. While screaming in pain, Orochimaru's body began to change. His figure suddenly became taller. And at the same time, his muscles continued to expand and his color became weird, making his body gradually look less like a human being. PFF. The white snake that was originally entrenched in Orochimaru's body was also affected and became an even more terrifying and huge python. It rushed out from Orochimaru's back and wrapped around Orochimaru's body. Lord Orochimaru. Kabuto looked shocked at Orochimaru's inhuman appearance and couldn't help but step back. Ha ha ha, my hand has recovered. Orochimaru looked with joy on his face as his hands turned into the claws of a beast. Although his hands were like this, they could still form seals. And it's so powerful and my body is so hot. Is this the sea virus? Ha ha ha, it's so interesting. Orochimaru was not afraid of his situation, but instead was extremely excited. 
Kabuto, let's go back immediately, we have new experiments to do. Yes. After Orochimaru finished speaking, he disappeared instantly, and Kabuto quickly caught up with him. Orochimaru, who has obtained the power of the sea virus, doesn't know what big events will happen in the future. After containing Huo Ren, many barrages crossed the screen. Luffy, you're so handsome. Your ninja's moves are so cool. You even summoned such a big animal to help, you're so strong. Nobita, yes, I really want to be like you. In the world of One Piece, the more Luffy thought about it, the more interesting it became. I started playing psychic skills with Chopper. Psychic art. Chopper, come out. Yes. After Luffy imitated Jiraiya and slapped the ground, Chopper immediately transformed into a human form and held up Luffy, and the two of them had a great time playing like this. The crew members nearby looked at it and just wanted to say that they had long been used to it. Warring states, can even our cosmic domineering power be used as a reward? This screen is amazing, isn't it? Ancient One, haha, ha, the handiwork of such an existence is beyond our imagination. The abilities we are proud of may be nothing in front of the existence behind this screen. Sun Wukong, are you so strong? Haha, ha, I also want to fight against some contained object. I wonder if there will be a very powerful one. Piccolo, Goku, we have a headache just dealing with the Saiyans now, and we have no time to worry about the containment objects. Vegeta, haha, ha, the contained object is just a weakling who deceives the people on Earth. Thor, although I don't like invaders like you, I also think these containment objects are nothing special. If it were me, I could solve them with one hammer. Leo's world. Feng Yuan looked behind the barrage and then at Tsunade and Jiraiya on the screen. Although these two people were human beings, he admired their abilities just now and even felt threatened. Tsunade's large area treatment and protection would definitely be very useful in this world. I don't know how many people die every day because of monsters and aliens. If she had Tsunade's ability, many people would definitely be able to survive. Next is Jiraiya. The power of the compound ninjutsu he just used made Leo feel threatened. If he was hit by such a powerful water cannon, he would probably be injured. Human beings in other universes are so strong, so I can't be left behind. I must become stronger. Feng Yuan is full of fighting spirit again, eager to become stronger. At this time, Xie Yun sighed. After Pyro was successfully contained, he received a new reward. The pyro was successfully contained, and the host gained the power to set fire and devour flames. After the sound of the system sounded, Xie Yun felt extremely hot all over his body, and then he opened his mouth and spit out flames. Before Xie Yun could be happy, flames fell on the sofa, which scared him so much that he was about to put out the fire. As soon as the thought came out, the flame flew directly into Xie Yun's mouth and was automatically inhaled. This process was so fast that he didn't even react. At this time, the screen image has been switched. Now predict the next contained object, the beast that mimics the sound. When the sound on the screen sounded, a picture appeared, which was a creature with a red body. This creature has a large mouth, exposing countless fangs, but has no other facial features. It has a large head and has a bunch of red feather-like things on the back of its head. The body is like a human, but stronger and taller and the limbs are long and covered with sharp claws. It makes me feel sick just looking at it. Seeing a new containment object appear, everyone immediately focused their attention on the screen to see what it was. The sound imitating beast is a monster that can imitate any human speech and likes to hunt humans. They lurk in the darkness and move around. When they encounter a target, they will imitate the sound to seduce the target, or even imitate the exact same voice. Scared to the point of collapse. When the explanation ended, a picture appeared on the screen. In the picture, I don't know which country, there is a woman looking for her child. Child, where are you? Where did you go to play? This seems to be the son running around and not knowing where to play and getting separated from his mother. It seems very normal. But how could anyone who has seen all kinds of containment objects think that it is that simple? Mom, I'm here. While the mother was searching anxiously, a childish voice came from around the corner. Oh, there it is. After the mother heard her son's voice, she immediately breathed a sigh of relief and ran over. Son, you can't do this again. 
When my mother turned a corner to preach, her expression suddenly changed as if she had seen something terrifying. There was no child in front of the mother. Instead, it was a monster that had appeared on the screen before. This monster was chewing something, and blood was constantly flowing out from the gaps between its teeth. Looking down, you can see the head of a child. This mother's son had long been eaten by the creature in front of him. Ah. The mother couldn't help but scream when she saw her son's head plus the monster. Just when she screamed, the sound mimicking beast immediately opened its mouth and bit her. Click. Only a sound of a broken neck was heard. The mother's head was bitten off by the sound mimicking beast, and then she was devoured. Help. Just then, a man ran out anxiously from a side road. Little brother, don't run away, don't you want to play? A sweet voice came from behind, but the owner of this sweet voice was not a cute girl. Rather, it is a particularly terrifying beast that mimics sounds. The voice of a cute girl comes from the mouth of such a monster, which looks particularly weird. Then the man was overtaken by the beast that imitated the sound, his chest was pierced by sharp claws, and he lost his life instantly. Then the beast of imitation sound threw the man into its mouth and chewed it up. Then the screen rose, and I saw the same situation happening on the nearby streets. In the corners of different locations, there were some humans who were led to other places by the voices of the imitating beasts, and then were turned into food when they saw their true appearance. When all the humans nearby were eaten, all the sound imitating beasts left one after another. I don't know whether to wait quietly for the next batch of prey to arrive, or to move to search elsewhere. Although the mimicking beasts are very strong, they can only be solved with human weapons. The problem is that they are not just one, but a group, distributed all over the world. The foundation has spent a lot of energy and it is difficult to completely contain and kill them, but we cannot will give up because of this. After the sound sounded again, the scene ended completely. When the audience saw this, they were all surprised. Mimicking the sound makes the prey lower its guard, attracting it and killing it secretly. In a way, this is more terrifying than the directly visible fire and carnivorous vines. Chopper. This mimicry beast doesn't seem as powerful as the vines and firemen in front of it. At most, it's just hard enough to block bullets. Sun Wuhan. It certainly doesn't look like much. Bruce Wayne. The problem lies in his concealment. This beast of imitating sounds lurks in the dark like a killer. Moreover, it is a scattered group. It is quite difficult to clean up and may be plotted at any time. Natasha. It's really troublesome. Just imitating the voice of an acquaintance can easily make people relax their vigilance. Zorro. Really. It doesn't feel very good. This so-called beast that imitates sounds doesn't seem to have much ability. Tony Stark. Indeed, as long as I wear the Mark suit, it will never hurt me. Vegeta. Huh, this kind of rubbish, only trash would have a headache, it's nothing in front of a truly strong person. Diana. Although I don't like you, it's true. As long as you are strong enough, you are not afraid of this kind of monster. Everyone has completely different opinions on the beast of mimicry. Some feel it is a threat, while others are indifferent and easy to deal with. DC Universe, Batman Base. Bruce Wayne frowned as he watched Diana's speech. This Diana is indeed not simple. Could it be that she is a person with superpowers? Bruce Wayne is no stranger to people with superpowers. There are many super-powered criminals in Gotham City where he lives. It's just that most of them are not very strong, and there are ways to deal with them. But this beast of mimicry. Bruce Wayne felt particularly unhappy when he looked at the mimicry beast on the screen. This reminded him of the tragedy of his parents being killed in an alley when he was young. You actually imitate your relatives and deceive others into a trap, you fool. Bruce Wayne clenched his fists angrily. He couldn't accept this kind of thing. If this kind of monster appeared in his place, he would definitely try his best to destroy it. Nick Fury. Strange, the content on the screen is still going on. Is there any problem with this beast of mimicry? At this time Nick Fury's words attracted everyone's attention. Oh, right, the content on the screen hasn't ended yet. What's going on? Generally speaking, after introducing the contained object, isn't it necessary to predict where it will appear? Why does it continue to play? However, there is more than one contained object present this time. Just then the electronic voice sounded again. It immediately shocked everyone. What? 
There is more than one predicted containment object this time. What kind of scary monsters are there? Everyone was staring at the screen, not wanting to miss any detail. At this time, on the screen, there was a man walking down the street holding a kitchen knife, mumbling constantly. Come out, you monsters. If you have the guts to come out and eat my wife and children, do you think that's all? I'm not afraid of you coming out. The man was waving his kitchen knife while shouting, as if he was looking for the beast that imitated the sound. Most people would avoid this kind of monster. However, this man was greatly stimulated by the fact that his wife and children were eaten, so he came to this street regardless of his own life and death to fight the beast that imitated the voice. Hee hee, I'm here, honey. At this moment, a female voice came to the man's ear. It was the voice of the woman who was looking for her child at the beginning of the screen. The man immediately turned around and saw the sound mimicking beast. He was actually standing under the ceiling, hanging upside down in front of the man. It showed a particularly human taunt, then opened its mouth and bit down on the man. Seeing this scene, all the audience couldn't help but sigh, and some even laughed. They all thought this man was dead. Faced with such a terrifying monster, he just dared to come to the door with a kitchen knife. This is not bravery at all, but recklessness. However, what happened next shocked everyone completely. The mouth of the beast that was about to close suddenly stopped, with a look of pain on its face. You can see that its throat is working hard, but the problem is that no matter how hard it tries, it can't close its mouth. It seemed like something invisible was opening its mouth. Go to hell. The man was not afraid of the beast of imitating voices. Instead, he turned fiercely, raised the kitchen knife in the book and stabbed the beast of imitations in the throat. Logically speaking, this knife should be useless. But the strange thing is that the kitchen knife cut open the throat of the sound imitating beast very, very easily. A lot of blood spurted out. The beast of imitation sound lay on the ground in pain and trembled continuously. Go to hell. Go to hell. The man had no intention of just letting the beast of imitation sound go. Instead, he waved his kitchen knife wildly, slashing at it and mincing it into countless pieces of meat before he stopped. This bloody scene made some timid people have to cover their eyes. But it was more of a shock. Tony Stark, what's going on? Why can this ordinary person kill such a monster? Nick Fury, I remember in the previous scene, someone shot and attacked, but it was naturally deflected. Why can a knife pierce it? Frankie, but this man is so brave. He dares to face this thing, he is so manly. Bruce Wayne, that's not the point, okay. Ancient One. Could it be that this seemingly inconspicuous man has something special? Doraemon. Hey, this is very strange. Isn't it about this mimicking beast? Why is the protagonist now this man? Seeing Doraemon's words, everyone realized that something was wrong. At this time, on the screen, the man finally stopped venting his anger, gasping for breath, looking at the meat paste in front of him, tears could not help but flow down. He finally avenged his wife and children. Ding ling ling. Just then the man received a call, and when he answered it, he heard a scolding from the other side. Where the hell have you been? Do you think you can be absent from work because someone in your family died? I tell you to come back and work overtime immediately, otherwise all your salary for this month will be deducted. Anyway, you don't have a family, so what's wrong with working more? The other end of the phone was the man's boss. Usually, this boss likes to exploit his subordinates and deduct wages in various ways. In the past, men could endure for the sake of their families, but now they don't have to endure anymore. After the man hung up the phone silently, he took the kitchen knife and left here. The scene changes to a company, which is now in chaos. The man is waving a kitchen knife and chasing the boss. The boss, who was arrogant on the phone before, is now crying and screaming as he is chased by this man, and can only run desperately. The man has gone crazy and chased the boss madly, waving the kitchen knife and trying to chop him. During this period, some people tried to stop the man, but all failed. They were either knocked away or missed, which seemed to be accidental. It was not until the police showed up with guns that things took a turn for the better. Put down your weapon, or we'll shoot. The man ignored the police, he had already thrown down the boss and was ready to stab him. The police saw this and quickly fired, but the pistol jammed and couldn't fire. What the hell are you doing? The companion next to him said dissatisfiedly and immediately fired. 
He fired smoothly. But a strange scene appeared. When the bullet was about to hit the man's brain, the bullet suddenly turned out of thin air, avoided the man, and hit somewhere else. Then the man stabbed the boss's chest very smoothly, ending his life. Bang! Another gunshot rang out, the man's head was pierced, and he died on the spot. It all seemed to be over. When everyone saw this, they were all stunned. What happened just now? Why did the bullet suddenly turn and then hit again? While discussing it, the sound of the screen sounded again. The containment, the kitchen knife that cannot stop people from killing, as long as someone picks it up and wants to kill someone, then this kitchen knife will work. Anyone, no matter what means, who wants to stop a person holding a kitchen knife from killing people will fail, and no means can stop it. The voice said this, and the screen switched. On a building, there was a person who looked like a terrorist, firing a rocket at a person holding a kitchen knife on the ground. Firing a rocket at an ordinary person undoubtedly looks like a very crazy thing. But then the shocking result appeared. When the rocket was about to hit the man, it did not explode, and suddenly stopped and fell, without even exploding. The man ignored it and continued to move forward. His target was a bald man in the front. That man was the local terrorist leader. Because of him, I don't know how many people died. This man is here for revenge. I don't know how many terrorists tried to stop along the way, shooting, throwing grenades, and even rushing up. But none of them succeeded. The gun exploded, misfired, or the bullet turned by itself. The grenade exploded in his hand before it was thrown out. Even if several people rushed over, they would be bounced back by the irresistible force. The man now seemed to have entered a no-man's land, and came to the leader very smoothly. He ignored the desert eagle that he escaped and cut his throat with a knife. The bald man fell to the ground in disbelief. He could not accept that the leader of the terrorists died at the hands of an ordinary person in a kitchen knife. After the man killed the bald man, a terrorist shot angrily. Strangely, the previous abnormality did not appear again, and the man was shot through like a hornet's nest very smoothly. When the target holding the kitchen knife dies, the power of the kitchen knife to interfere with others will disappear. As long as the target to be killed is still there, any attempt to stop it will fail due to the irresistible force. Therefore, this kitchen knife must be strictly guarded and must not be leaked. When everyone saw this, they were stunned and their eyes widened in disbelief. A kitchen knife actually has such power. It's terrible. Tony Stark, how is it possible? How can a mere kitchen knife have such power? This is unscientific. Mordo. Magic item. This is a magic item. Only magic can do this. Sun Wukong. Ah. You have magic there too, but magic is so powerful. I've only seen it used for divination or changing things. Strange. You have magic there too. Tony Stark. How can something as unscientific as magic exist? Ancient One. Stark. Don't look at it with your ignorant eyes. There are many things in this world that you can never imagine. Magic is actually similar to science. It's just another way to explore the essence of the world and apply it. Tony Stark. What? Tony Stark in the plane now looks like a petrified person. He has believed in science for so many years, and now he is told that magic really exists in this world. How can he not have his three views overturned? Nick Fury. Magic does exist in our world. We have encountered it before in S.H.I.E.L.D. So, you, the Ancient One, are you also a magician? Modo. Watch your words. Our Ancient One is the pinnacle of magicians. The Supreme Sorcerer. Nick Fury. Ah. Ancient One. Now is not the time to talk about this. This kitchen knife is similar to a magic item. It has the ability to enhance and even affect the surroundings. It's just that I have never seen anything so outrageous as this. When Ancient One was talking, he couldn't help but increase the frequency of shaking the fan. She has seen many magic items, such as enhancing power, curses, etc. But such a huge range of influence is unheard of by Ancient One. If such a thing falls into the hands of those with bad intentions, it will be a disaster. Ancient One's eyes lit up and showed a serious look. If this appeared in their world, she must personally take action to contain it. Shield. Nick Fury looked at Ancient One's speech and fell into deep thought. The Supreme Sorcerer, the pinnacle of magicians, seems to be not simple. I wonder if I can get in touch with it. A kitchen knife can actually have this kind of power. 
Even if it is used to assassinate the president, it can be done. Natasha couldn't help but express her thoughts in shock. Nick Fury couldn't help but take a deep breath after hearing this. If this were really the case, it would cause chaos in the world. If you think about it deeper, you can break into that place by killing the people in the nuclear bomb control room, and then press the nuclear bomb. In this way, this knife has many uses. Enough to bring catastrophe to mankind. It's just a kitchen knife, how could it be so outrageous? This made Nick Fury unable to remain calm, and then he suddenly thought of something. Wait a minute, if we have such a weapon, it will be of great help to our operations. Nick Fury soon had various thoughts and hoped that this kitchen knife would appear in this world. Asgard. After Loki learned about the effect of this kitchen knife, he had to open his mouth. He thought that he was the number one magician in the Nine Realms, but now it seemed that he couldn't even compare to the influence of the kitchen knife. How could he be willing to accept it? Wait a minute, if only I had this kitchen knife. Loki thought of a good idea and then looked at Thor next to him, showing his trademark evil smile. DC Universe. Diana looked at the kitchen knife on the screen curiously. Interesting, I wonder if I can stop it. Dragon Ball Universe. Sun Gohan looked at the kitchen knife in surprise and couldn't help but think, if I use this kitchen knife to deal with Saiyans, will it be successful? Stop dreaming, Saiyans are not that stupid to wait for you to kill him. Piccolo didn't bother to interrupt this fantasy. At this time, the screen sound sounds. Now predict the locations where the contained objects, the Mimic Beast and the Unstoppable Chopper, will appear, including the DC Universe, Arkham Asylum and the streets of Gotham City. DC Universe Batman Base. What? In Gotham City. Bruce Wayne stood up in disbelief, eyes wide. He never expected the two containment objects would appear at the same time. Either one of these two would cause a huge commotion. Gotham City, which is already in chaos, cannot be made worse by these two things. Bruce Wayne took a deep breath and left here immediately. At this time, a bunch of barrages flashed across the screen. Diana. It's actually in Gotham City. That's really bad. Nobita. Why? Diana. Gotham City is a famous crime city. Countless criminals gather there, and crimes are committed from morning to night every day. There are even crimes committed by people with superpowers. It can be said to be the most chaotic city in the world. Nick Fury. What? There is a city like this, what are the officials doing? Diana. Of course I was bribed. As long as the money is collected, they won't care so much. Tony Stark. Sure enough, people like this exist no matter which universe. Warring states. Are you kidding? What should the people there do? Diana. Bruce Wayne, I remember he is from Gotham City, and he is also the top rich man in the world. Are you going to fight these two? Barton. What, this Bruce Wayne is a rich man and a man from Gotham City, so is he also a criminal? Nick Fury. Even if it's not, it's possible that it can serve as a shield. Bruce Wayne. I'm not a criminal, nor am I a protector, and I don't have time to tell you that much. Natasha. Are you really going to deal with those two containment objects? Barton. Rich people like this basically spend money to send people to deal with it, and it's impossible to do it themselves. Tony Stark. Hey. I'm just a hands-on person. Bruce Wayne is currently donning Batman gear. Then how should I get that kitchen knife? Bruce Wayne thought about everything about the kitchen knife. Compared with the beast of mimicry, this kitchen knife that could not be stopped was more difficult to deal with. Any attempt to stop a kitchen knife wielder from killing people will fail and be fooled. After Bruce Wayne got on the Batmobile, he still couldn't think of any good solution. There was no way he would be able to watch a criminal walking around with that kitchen knife from now on. I can only hope that no one has picked it up yet. Hey, wait a minute. Any attempt to prevent the murder will fail, don't you think so? At this time, Bruce Wayne seemed to have thought of something and showed an expression of disbelief. Does that terrifying looking kitchen knife have such a loophole? Although it feels a bit unreliable, it is also the only way. Then Bruce Wayne, no, Batman left the Batcave in his chariot and looked at the location shown on the screen. The picture on the screen at this time is a street. On that street, a man wielded a kitchen knife and swung it around, killing passers by one after another. Go to hell. Go to hell. This man looked crazy and seemed to enjoy killing very much. 
He is a mentally ill criminal who can be seen everywhere in Gotham City. When I came out to rob, I suddenly picked up this kitchen knife, and then things got out of hand. At first he wanted to kill the guy who didn't give him the money, then he wanted to kill the guy who came to stop him, and then he wanted to steal more money. In the end, the more he killed, the more money he got. Shoot. Kill him. Seeing how serious the situation was, Gordon immediately issued an order. Director, the pistol can't be fired. It's still exploding. However, other police officers also wanted to shoot. But the problem is that for some reason, some pistols jam and cannot fire bullets. Some even exploded directly. What is the logistics department doing? Gordon didn't know what was going on and thought it was due to poor maintenance. So he immediately took out his pistol and shot at the murderer. He fired the bullet smoothly, but strangely, when the bullet was about to hit the person, it lost power and fell. Gordon was stunned for a moment when he saw this, and then continued to shoot. The result is the same, the bullet cannot touch the person at all. Even driving to the back, Gordon's pistol exploded. His hands were covered in blood and it was extremely painful. Could it be a super power? This made Gordon grab his hand with an ugly expression, and then simply pulled out the grenade and threw it at the man. However, the grenade did not explode after rolling to the criminal's feet. This made Gordon's face look even uglier, and he couldn't figure out what was going on. Snipers in position. At this moment, a sniper had arrived at a nearby building, targeting the criminal. Shot. Gordon immediately gave the order after hearing this. He couldn't believe that the sniper rifle didn't work. The sniper immediately opened fire to kill the criminal. However, the strange thing is that when the sniper rifle bullet was about to penetrate, it immediately turned around and landed on the ground next to it. The sniper hurriedly tried to fire another shot, but this time the sniper rifle exploded and injured his face. Gordon. Can you hear me? Just then Batman's voice came over Gordon's walkie-talkie. Bataman. You can't just hack into the police communication system like this. Gordon said helplessly. Now is not the time to talk about this. Let everyone evacuate immediately. That man has a strange power. Anyone who wants to stop him will fail. Batman immediately explained the situation. What? What kind of weird superpower is this? Even Gordon, who had dealt with super-powered criminals, was confused. He had only seen simple power enhancements, breathing fire, etc., but he had never seen anything so outrageous. Just believe me, I have a way to deal with it. After hearing this, Gordon had no choice but to believe Batman's words and immediately arranged for everyone to evacuate everyone, keeping as far away from the criminal as possible. Buzz buzz. The next second the sound of Batman's chariot came. I saw flames spraying from the rear of Batman's tank, and then he actually jumped up, leapt over the crowd, and sat next to the criminal. Batman. What are you going to do? Gordon shouted anxiously. Building roads. Ah. Gordon had to be stunned when he heard this. Batman. Ha ha ha. You can't stop me. When I kill you, I will be famous throughout history. When the mentally ill man saw Batman, he wasn't too scared. Instead, he walked over excitedly. In his eyes, even Batman was no match for him now. I'm not going to stop you, I just happened to see that the road was full of potholes and needed fixing. Batman said such a meaningless sentence, then adjusted the weapon device, and a turret rose from the roof of the car, aiming at the ground next to the criminal. Boom. The shell was successfully fired and hit the field. Boom. An explosion occurred, and the criminal was blown away by the explosion wave, falling heavily to the ground in the distance, and the kitchen knife also fell off. When Batman saw this, he immediately drove over and got out of the car as soon as he reached the kitchen knife. He picked up the kitchen knife and put it into a prepared metal box and sealed it. The unstoppable chopper was successfully contained. When everyone saw this, they were stunned. What's going on? How was it contained? Isn't this kitchen knife unstoppable? Tony Stark. I see, I understand. This kitchen knife has a big loophole. Diana. You thought of this, you are worthy of being Batman. Sengoku. Is there such a method? It's really unexpected. Piccolo. This kitchen knife is just like this. Some smart people have already seen how Batman successfully contained the kitchen knife. However, some people with dull brains have no idea what they are talking about. Nobita. Ah. What are you talking about? 
I don't understand at all. Naruto. Can you explain it clearly? Robin. Think carefully, what is the condition for this kitchen knife not to be stopped? Nick Fury. The condition is that whoever tries to stop the owner of the kitchen knife from killing people will fail. Wait. Could it be? Robin. Yes, then as long as you don't think about stopping the owner of the kitchen knife from killing people, you can stop it. Luffy. Ah. What does it mean? Loki. Stupid human, you can't figure this out. It means that as long as you do what Batman did, just think about destroying other places and affecting the person holding the kitchen knife, you can stop it. Sun Wukong. It feels so confusing. Some people who met still couldn't figure it out, so Robin patiently helped to explain it. At this time, Batman. After sealing the kitchen knife, Batman exhaled heavily. Sure enough, his idea was not wrong. The way to contain it has been clearly explained in the previous introduction. Only people with particularly flexible brains can think of it. When anyone sees someone using a kitchen knife to kill someone, they either think about running away or trying to stop it, and basically won't think about anything else. The ability of this kitchen knife is to take advantage of this loophole. The containment, the kitchen knife that cannot be stopped is successfully contained, and Bruce Wayne is rewarded with a transformation card box for common rider Knight Rider. At this time, the electronic sound of the screen sounded. Then a black card box with a golden bat pattern appeared out of thin air in Batman's hand, and a lot of information poured into his brain. At this moment, the audience was shocked. Diana. What? Bruce Wayne is Batman. He is a rich playboy during the day and fights criminals at night. This is really. Natasha. Wait a minute. What is Batman? Sanji. I have been paying attention to this kitchen knife before, and almost forgot about it. Why does this man wear a mask and a cape? Diana. Batman is a knight in Gotham City. He appears at night to fight criminals and is the nemesis of Gotham City's criminals. No one has ever known the true face of Batman. I didn't expect that it was the famous playboy, Bruce Wayne. If this gets out, I don't know how much trouble it will cause. Bruce Wayne. Then will you tell it? Diana. Since you fight criminals and protect civilians, I can't be so boring. Tony Stark. Rich and a hero, just like me. On a private plane. Tony Stark looked at the screen with excitement. I didn't expect that there was a person similar to me in another universe. If I were in the same universe, I would really like to meet him. Tony Stark. But why do you have to hide your true identity? If it were me, I would definitely hold a press conference to announce it. Nobita. Hey, shouldn't heroes hide their true identities to be cool? Tony Stark. Nobita, you sound like a child. I tell you that heroes who are blatant are the coolest. Bruce Wayne. This is not a question of being handsome or not, but to protect the people around me. I don't want the people around me to be killed by my enemies. When Tony Stark saw this statement, he wanted to say something, but suddenly stopped. He suddenly remembered that during this period, the military, the government, and various forces wanted to get his Iron Man equipment. There must be no breakthrough on his side. What if they start with Pepper Potts and Happy, or directly control the company? What have I been doing these days? How could I forget such an important thing? At this moment, Tony Stark once again realized how stupid his decadence was. So he immediately contacted Jarvis to study targeted plans. At this time, Bruce Wayne was getting on the Batmobile and preparing to go to Arkham Asylum. Hey, Batman, how do we deal with that guy? Gordon ran over and pointed at the fainted criminal and asked. Without the kitchen knife, he is just an ordinary person, so we can deal with him normally. Batman replied. Ah, kitchen knife. This made Gordon even more confused. By the way, send SWAT to seal off Arkham Asylum immediately. There will be riots and monsters there tonight. After saying this, Batman immediately drove away and headed for Arkham Asylum at full speed. Leaving Gordon confused. While driving, Batman looked at the card box in his hand. After the transformation, Common Rider Knight Knight's card box will wear special armor, be able to enter the mirror world freely, and make a contract with the contracted beast Darkwing Bat. It has multiple card summoning abilities and is proficient in high skill swordsmanship and tactics. Listening to the explanation on the screen, Batman became more curious about this card box. Perhaps its capabilities will be verified later. When Batman arrived at the gates of Arkham Asylum, 
he heard a very loud noise coming from inside as he got out of the car. There were all kinds of gunshots, fighting sounds, screams, and even monster cries. Apparently the copycat beast has begun hunting Arkham Asylum, and the people inside are rebelling. I'm more worried about the criminals than the monsters. I hope it's still too late. Batman took a deep breath and gathered his thoughts. According to the information given by the card box, raise the card box and aim it at the rearview mirror of the Batmobile. Then a belt flew out of the rearview mirror and was automatically attached to Batman's waist. Transform. After Batman shouted these two words subconsciously, he inserted the card box into the middle of his belt. Then several armor phantoms appeared, superimposed on Batman's body. A black leather sheath, white armor to protect important parts, a helmet like a medieval knight, and a long sword on his waist. Common Rider Knight Rider is born. Beep. At the same time a sharp cry came. I saw a huge black bat flying out of the mirror, hovering above Batman, and then flying back into the mirror. Is this the contract beast? I don't have time to study it now. Although Batman is surprised by the power of Common Rider Knight Rider, his top priority is to enter Arkham Asylum. After seeing Batman transform, some people couldn't help but get excited. Luffy, so handsome. This transformation, this armor, looks so handsome. Usopp, it's a man's romance. Naruto, yeah, really so handsome. Tony Stark, I admit that it's a little bit more handsome than my Mark armor, just a little bit. But I'm more curious about what kind of technology this is, why the belt flew out of the mirror, and what's going on with that monster, how to put on this armor. Tony Stark has a lot of questions now, this transformation looks very unscientific. Thor, is it magic again? There are many such magical items in Asgard. Ancient One, just now the screen said that it was a contract with the contracted beast, so the armor may be the power given by the giant bat, it belongs to magic. Diana. Then Bruce Wayne has to be careful, and the contract with the monster often comes at a price. At this time, Arkham Asylum was in a state of chaos. The mimicking beast suddenly appeared and ate people everywhere, and the guards hurriedly called the police and took up guns to resist. However, what was even worse was that many criminals took advantage of this to escape, making the already chaotic situation even more out of control. However, this was nothing to the mimicking beast, as both criminals and guards were food. Ah, there was no old senior here, but a mimicking beast. Crack. Before the guard could react, his head was bitten off, and countless blood spurted out of the broken neck. The mimicking beast didn't care about the blood dripping on itself, but enjoyed the feeling very much. At this time, the mimicking beast, who was feasting, didn't pay attention to the situation in the glass next to it. In the glass, the figure of Batman who turned into Knight Rider appeared, but outside the mirror, he clearly didn't see it. Batman jumped out of the mirror and chopped it down with a sword. Puff. The blade easily cut the mimicking beast's head and killed it successfully. The mimicking beast couldn't imagine that it would be killed while hunting well. Alfred, did you record it? Batman lowered his head and asked with a micro intercom. At this time in the Bat Base, Alfred was using high-tech monitoring equipment to record the combat data of Knight Rider. It's very clear, this is the third one, but sir, where did your armor come from, and what about these monsters? It's very complicated, I can't explain it clearly, I'll find a way to tell you later. Batman didn't know how to explain it, so he could only perfunctorily pass it over. Well, according to the collected data, your sword is very lethal, of course the most important thing is your strength, according to the calculation of the current strength, the lower limit is more than 10 tons. Plus your ability to enter and exit the mirror freely is hard to defend, you can now be said to be the strongest assassin. Alfred analyzed the data on the computer and reported the results. Very good, continue to collect. After Batman finished speaking, he continued to destroy the mimicking beast, and at this time the dark-winged bat flew out of the mirror. Take the corpse on the ground and enter the mirror in one breath. The contracted beast lives by eating life. Through observation, Batman has figured out the behavior of the dark-winged bat. It just so happens that there are many monster corpses here, so let this creature eat enough. It's just a human corpse. Roar roar roar. Just as Batman was thinking, the roar of the mimicking beast sounded around. I saw five or six mimicking beasts appearing around me. 
They were all covered in blood and looked like they had been feasting for a long time. Are we still discovered? In that case, let's test our frontal combat and card abilities. Batman took out a card from the card box and put it into the card summoner to read it. The enemy is coming. A male electronic voice sounded. Batman immediately transformed into eight clones and rushed towards the mimicking beasts around him. Ah. In less than half a minute, Batman killed all the sound mimicking beasts. Such a crisp and clean battle fascinated many people. Jiraiya. This guy named Batman has very good physical skills. If he had chakra, he would be a top physical skills master even inferior to Kai. Zoro. What a superb swordsmanship. I really want to fight. Strange. I care more about the power of that card. Is that a magical summons? Modu, this should be to seal the magic effect in the card, so that people who don't know magic can use it, but this method of use is basically a technological method. Tony Stark, haha. Ha. In other words, this is a technology where magic and technology coexist. How interesting. When Tony Stark looked at Knight Rider's abilities, it was as if he was seeing the door to a new world. Magic and technology coexist, and the Marvel world also has magic. He believes that he can develop similar armor. It seems we have to find a way to contact these mages, cough. When Tony Stark was thinking about this, he couldn't help coughing violently, and then he remembered his palladium poisoning. How should he detoxify? He still has a lot to do. While everyone was discussing Knight Rider's abilities, Batman had already entered the mirror world and continued to search for the locations of other mimicking beasts. As for how to find it, it's very simple. Use Wayne Group's satellites to scan Arkham Asylum's thermal imaging reactions to locate the Echo Beast's reactions. Alfred would then feed back to Batman. Batman entered the mirror world again and rode over on the Darkwing Bat. In the mirror world, no one can destroy buildings in shortened distances without restraint, so Batman moves very quickly. Keep killing the sound beasts scattered throughout Arkham Asylum. He accidentally saved some people who were about to be eaten. He really ran out. After arriving on the first floor, Batman looked at the empty cell with the door open and his expression was quite ugly. Super criminals such as the Joker, Bane, Poison Ivy, and Two-Face are imprisoned here. Now they took advantage of the chaos to escape, and they didn't know whether they died in the mouth of the sound imitating beast or escaped outside. If possible, Batman really hopes that they will die in the mouth of the monster, so that he can avoid his oath not to kill. Master, the remaining sound imitating beasts are on the bottom floor. I'll be there right away. Batman took a deep breath to calm down. Whether you are dead or alive, I will definitely catch you back in the end. When Batman was about to go to the bottom, a voice stopped him. Are you Batman? This was a guard, and he looked at Yi Chi in confusion. How do you recognize me? Batman looked at the other person in confusion, his image was completely different from usual. I thought it wasn't true at first, but when I saw the big bat, I thought it was. It turns out that Batman really raises bats. The guard looked at Batman in shock. Um. After hearing this, Batman shook his head helplessly and walked away. It seems that Gotham will have more urban legends about him in the future. After entering the mirror world, Batman shortens time by punching directly through the floor of the building to the next level. When attacking with such a large force, the reaction force will be very strong, but I can't feel it at all. What is this armor made of? I have to find a way to study it later to see if it can be mass-produced. Batman himself is a professor with several degrees in scientific fields. Now that he sees the armor with the ability of location materials, he can't help but feel the passion of a scholar. When he arrived at the bottom level of Arkham Asylum, he immediately looked at the real world through the mirror. The result was a very bloody scene. This is the hall. At a glance, you can see corpses all over the floor, including guards and criminals. The corpses of some criminals are still old friends of Batman. The Mad Hatter, the Puppet Master, Dr. Hugo, etc. As for the Joker, Two-Face, and the Riddler, I haven't seen them yet. Among the corpses, there were several sound mimicking beasts walking back and forth. The strange thing is that they didn't eat the carcasses. Instead, he picked it up and moved it to the other side. There were several sound imitating beasts with big bellies lying on their stomachs, eating the corpses sent by other sound imitating beasts. How is this going? Batman felt strange looking at this scene and couldn't help but take a closer look. 
Ooh. At this moment, a sound mimicking beast made a painful sound, and then it exerted all its strength and arched its body backwards. Could it be that? Seeing this scene, Batman immediately thought of what was going on. Then I saw several small red animals spurting out from the butt of this mimicking beast. After these red animals landed, they let out a loud squealing sound. If you take a closer look, isn't this a smaller version of the beast of mimicry? In other words, these big-bellied mimicking beasts are actually pregnant women and are about to give birth. We can't let them continue to reproduce. Fortunately, it was discovered in time. Otherwise, even if all the sound-imitating beasts were killed, those larvae might be left behind, and it would be terrible to grow up one day. So Batman immediately took out the card and already thought about how to deal with it. Then walk to the mirror where you can jump to the female mimic beast, and jump off. Batman's appearance was so sudden that none of the sound monkeying beasts noticed it. As soon as he landed, he immediately swung his sword and cut off the head of a female vocal beast. Before the person next to him could react, he turned around and pierced his throat with his sword. In just a flash of lightning, he killed two beasts that mimicked sounds. Ho 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 ho. Only then did the other mimicking beasts react and immediately attack Batman. Disruption is coming. However, Batman moved faster and read the card immediately. The dark-winged bat quickly flew out of the mirror world, making an extremely violent noise. The sound was so noisy that all the sound-imitating beasts couldn't bear it. They all shivered in place and blocked their ears to resist the sound waves. Batman seized this opportunity and ran quickly towards the other female vocal beasts, while waving his sword constantly. Cut their throats one after another. All the female vocal beasts have been killed and can no longer reproduce. Ah. At this time, the noise interference of the dark-winged bat has ended, and the dark-winged bat immediately returned to the mirror world. The group of male mimicking beasts roared angrily when they saw all the females being wiped out. Then they rushed towards Batman together. However, Batman was already prepared. He had been holding the broken mirror in his left hand, which was already on the ground, and then jumped in immediately. The huge body actually passed directly through the mirror fragments and entered the mirror world. He dodged the attacks of these sound mimicking beasts, causing them to collide together. At this time, Batman was already standing in front of a glass, just in time to see the mimicking beasts piled together in the real world. Very well, just pile it up like this. After Batman finished speaking, he took out a card with a golden bat pattern and inserted it into the card summoning machine on the sword. The final arrival. The next second, the Knight Rider's special weapon, the winged spearman, appeared out of thin air in his hand. At the same time, the Darkwing Bat flew from behind. Aha! Batman jumped up at full speed. The Darkwing Bat actually turned into a black cloak and struck Batman on the back. Then the cloak expanded in size and rotated in a spiral to surround Batman. This move is the final arrival of Knight Rider, Flying Slash. Batman, under his spinning cape, flew out of the mirror world and directly hit the piled up sound beasts in one blow. The terrifying lethality directly minced them all into meat paste, leaving no room for resistance. Bang bang bang. This wasn't over yet. Batman couldn't control this move. After killing the sound mimicking beasts, he continued to move forward, breaking through walls one after another, and was about to hit a support column. He finally stopped and fell to the ground awkwardly, and the cloak on his back turned into a dark-winged bat. Beep. The dark-winged bat looked at the corpses on the ground, screamed very excitedly, and then started feasting directly here. Hey, don't eat human corpses. Batman saw the dark-winged bat trying to eat a human corpse, and felt a little uncomfortable so he warned him. After Darkwing heard this, he turned around and glared at Batman then gave up on human corpses and specialized in eating the corpses of the sound mimicking beasts. It seems you haven't completely listened to me yet. Batman felt a little wary when he saw this. Alfred, how is the situation now? Master, all the monsters in the madhouse have been eliminated, but some people ran out. After hearing Alfred's report, Batman felt happy and complicated now. Tonight can't end like this. Congratulations to Bruce Wayne for destroying the invading sound beast. Now the rewards are distributed, three survival cards. The electronic sound of the screen came. Then three cards appeared in Batman's hand. One is a golden bird, and the other two are wing patterns, which can be used as backgrounds of wind and fire. 
The survival card is a special card for Mirror World Common Rider. Using one card will enter the survival mode, and the combat power will be greatly enhanced. Three cards can be used in combination. And the upper limit of the increased power is determined by the will to survive. The will to survive determines the power of strengthening. Is this idealism? Batman looked at the three survival cards in his hand and felt a little confused. His current posture is already strong enough. What will happen if he uses three survival cards? Everyone enter Arkham Asylum. Be careful of the monsters and criminals inside. Just then the police shouted from above. Batman saw this and immediately entered the mirror world and left here. After Batman left here, two particularly small sound mimicking beasts climbed up in the sewer water. They were just born, one male and one female. Tan Wan fell into the water as a newborn, but just escaped death. Their bloody eyes looked at the corpses on the ground with hatred, making low sounds, and finally turned around and jumped into the water, not knowing where they would go. The threat of the sound beast isn't over yet. However, the screen had already switched to another screen, and no one knew about this situation. Tony Stark. Hey, Bruce Wayne, your armor is very cool. If you have any analysis and research later, can you post the analysis results here and let me study it too? Tony Stark, some parts of this armor look like clothes. It must be made of materials and techniques that are not simple. It would be best if this could be used on my Mark armor. Nick Fury, I would like it if I could. Such armor is of great significance. Bruce Wayne, let me talk about this kind of thing after I get back. I don't know what I can analyze. Tony Stark, then I'm waiting for your good news. This kind of armor that combines magic and technology is really interesting. It can definitely enhance human power. Vegeta, haha, only useless trash relies on technology and things like armor. Tony Stark, what did you say? Vegeta, isn't it? A real strong man can rely on his own strength. This kind of toy is nothing at all. Sun Wukong, Indeed, I have encountered some high technology, but it is of no use. Diana. I have to agree with this. I also believe in my own power. Thor. Yes, your own power is the most powerful. Loki. Brother, can you put down your hammer before you say this? Thor. Hey. What do you mean? I am the strongest without a hammer, not to mention that there is no difference between me and the hammer. Patton. Why did you pull the hammer? Tony Stark. HMPH, letting technology develop is a necessity of the times. You will regret it sooner or later if you abandon technology. Zhu Xingtuan, that's right. The development of science and technology is necessary. Not everyone has strong power and needs such weapons. At this time, Batman ignored the quarrel on the screen. He had come out of the mirror world and was standing on the top of Arkham Asylum looking down. Now the place is full of police. Um. At this moment, Batman suddenly noticed something and looked ahead. He saw what seemed to be a figure on the rooftop in the distance, but the figure disappeared instantly. Did I see it wrong? Batman looked puzzled, and when he was about to find out, a conversation came from the bug connected to the police communication system. Attention. The Joker is robbing Gotham Bank. Please provide support as soon as possible. After hearing the whereabouts of his old rival the Joker, Batman's expression changed. He couldn't care less about what had just happened and immediately jumped down. Amid many exclamations, he jumped into the Batmobile and drove away. At this time, under the night sky in Gotham, a woman wearing revealing cool armor and a sword was jumping between buildings. This person is Wonder Woman Diana. I originally thought he might not be able to figure it out so I would come over and have a look, but his performance exceeded my expectations. He is indeed a Gotham Bat. Diana said with some approval. Then she looked down into the darkness of the streets and alleys. In so many dark corners, all kinds of crimes are going on. Drug trafficking, robbery and rape, everything is there, and there is a rotten smell everywhere. It really deserves to be called Gotham City, the crime capital. It's really disgusting. Diana, who had always hated evil, looked at the various crimes below with a strong look of disgust. Marble World. Brooklyn neighborhood. The containment objects, the unstoppable kitchen knife and the sound imitating beast have been contained, and the host has been rewarded with an unstoppable kitchen knife, as well as the sound imitating beast's ability to imitate sounds. 
After the system sound appeared, an ordinary looking kitchen knife appeared on Xie Yun's table. Ah, just give this to me. And the ability to imitate sounds. Not so good. Xie Yun reluctantly picked up the kitchen knife and looked at it, and the sound he made was not his own, but the rich voice of a middle-aged man. I hope you can give me a good reward next time. Xie Yun dropped the kitchen knife in disgust. At this time, the predictions on the screen continue. Now predict the next contained object, the fearful beast in the sea. After hearing this, everyone's attention is focused on the screen. The sea is wider than the land, and at the same time it is more dangerous. There are more lurking objects in the sea than on the land. Countless people have explored the sea to study its mysteries, but most of them died at the bottom of the sea, among. After the sound on the screen ended, the appearance of a terrifying creature appeared. Its body is more than 50 meters long, and its whole body looks like the tentacles of an octopus, with various suction cuffs scattered all over its body, and the tips of the tentacles look like sharp blades. The head looks like an enlarged and elongated form of a crow, with a sharp beak, blood-red eyes, and a terrifying head. In addition, the background is still a dark seabed, which made many people feel uncomfortable after watching it. The fearful beast of the sea lives in a certain area in the sea. No one knows where it is. If you know its description, whether you listen to the text explanation or see the relevant photos, you will suffer something very terrible. Quote. It will show resistance to water at first, and then when the body is completely immersed in the water, it will be transported to the area where the fearful beast is in the sea, and it will be chased by it. Even if we can escape pursuit and escape into the sea, it won't end here. As time goes by, the fear of water will become more and more serious, and as long as there is water around, even a glass of water, it will be sucked into it and transported to the location of the fearful beast in the sea, and it will not end until it is completely eliminated. Quote. When the screen reaches this point, the screen switches. It is a place that looks like a laboratory. Here are two people wearing prison uniforms. They are looking at a photo, which is a photo of a fearful beast in the sea. D201, D202, have you seen it clearly? A doctor wearing sunglasses asked. I have seen it clearly. The two nodded at the same time. Very good, then go into the bathtub and soak in it. The doctor pointed to the bathtub filled with water and ordered. Although the two expressed confusion, they still did it. However, when they approached the bathtub, they did not know why they had a strong resistance in their hearts. It seemed that the water in it was something particularly terrible. Their hearts and bodies expressed that they absolutely did not want to get close, let alone enter it. Hurry up and get in. The doctor immediately urged when he saw the two people stop. Gulp. After hearing this, the two could only swallow their saliva hard, suppress their emotions, walk towards the bathtub, and then soak in it. The next second, a strange scene appeared. The two people disappeared in the bathtub. No one could see how they disappeared. Check the locator immediately. The doctor quickly ordered others. I saw several researchers fiddling with an instrument, and then two points in a sea area appeared on the screen of the instrument. Doctor, they were teleported to the Pacific Ocean, and it's very deep. The researcher reported while looking at the screen. Analyze the specific location. We must find out the whereabouts of that monster. The doctor ordered. The signal is gone. At this time, the two dots on the screen suddenly disappeared, making everyone stunned, and then immediately looked at the bathtub. Ah. Ah. What did you do to me? Why am I being chased by such a terrible monster? D202 climbed out of the bathtub and screamed in horror. Ah. Water. Water. When he saw the water all over his body, he panicked instantly, pissed and ran around, trying to get rid of the water on his body, and fell into a state of madness. The guards here immediately went up to subdue him. The doctor ignored D202 and walked to another bathtub to look inside, and his face was quite ugly. D-201 had become a broken corpse, his body was broken into pieces, completely unrecognizable, and particularly disgusting. After that, D-202's fear of water became more and more serious. He kept talking about the sea monster. Because he described it in detail, everyone who heard it was affected. Once they touched the water, they would be teleported to the sea monster. Fortunately, the shelter took sea level memory removal in time. The impact of the sea monster requires physical memory. As long as there is no memory, there will be no problem. 
Therefore, the shelter must not only strictly monitor various communication channels to prevent the spread of information about the sea monster. At the same time, once a victim appears, memory removal must be taken to prevent the situation from worsening. When the screen came to this, many people showed shock. This creature seems to be more terrifying than the previous containment. One Piece World. On the Thousand Sunny. Hey hey hey. A monster over 50 meters long. And once you know it, you're dead. Usopp, Chopper and Nami hugged each other and cried with tears. It's terrible. We've seen what's going on. There's sea everywhere here, and if you fall into it, you'll be dead. I'm scared when I see the sea water now. Usopp clutched his chest and lay on the ground, shaking non-stop, looking like he was about to lose consciousness. Hey. Usopp is affected. What should I do? Chopper shouted anxiously. Hoo-hoo. It looks interesting. I wonder if I can beat it. And will its meat be delicious? However, Luffy was very carefree and didn't think too much, but was very happy instead. How can this be interesting? Don't forget that you will have no strength when you go into the sea. Nami, who is next to him, couldn't help but punch him after hearing this. Don't worry, Miss Nami, if this kind of monster really appears, I will definitely protect you. Sanji immediately shook his body and shouted. Everyone, calm down, we are not afraid of water. At this time, Robin reminded, she looked at the sea next to her and had no reaction. Navy Headquarters. There are such monsters in the sea, which are much more terrifying than sea kings. Zonguo looked at the screen with a bad face. This is troublesome. If it's a monster in the deep sea, we can't be of any use. Kazaru said helplessly. They are devil fruit users, but they can't enter the deep sea. We can only ask Jinbei from the seven warlords of the sea to help. Sengoku quickly thought of a plan. Except for the fishman, no one can fight in the deep sea. Doraemon world, hey hey. A big monster in the sea. What should Doraemon do? I can't swim. Nobita shouted with fear on his face. For a timid person like him who can't swim, being teleported to the sea monster is a dead end. Don't worry, Nobita. I'll be fine with me. Doraemon immediately comforted Nobita. He has thought of various ways to protect Nobita. He doesn't believe that his future props can't beat such a monster. Marvel World Nick Fury stared at the screen with an ugly face. There is actually such a monster. Once it is known, you will be teleported to its domain to die if you touch the water. In this information-rich society, as long as the photos of such a monster are spread on the internet, tens of thousands of people will know about it, and tens of thousands of people will die. This is more than likely to exceed a million. The most terrible thing is that this fearful beast in the sea does not exist anywhere. Even if it is fully armed, it is basically useless once it reaches the deep sea. In other words, this monster is more difficult to deal with than any previous contained object. The threat is even greater. Thinking of this, Nick Fury exhaled heavily, and then took out an old call machine from the drawer. This kind of monster would probably have to call that woman back. No, I'm afraid there will be more and more terrible containment in the future, and Captain Marvel's power is a must. On a private jet, Tony Stark looked at the screen in shock. The ability of this monster completely subverts his cognition. Once he learns the relevant information, something will happen. What kind of curse is this? I don't believe you are that powerful, Jarvis. Immediately set up a project to develop a Mark armor that can withstand the pressure of the deep sea. Tony showed a ferocious look, and he decided that if he really encountered such a monster, he would do everything possible to eliminate it. Yes, sir. Kama Taj. Ji Yuyi still looked calm. She has lived for so long and has seen all kinds of demons and evil gods from other dimensions. Some of them have the ability of the fearful beasts in the sea. Once they are recognized, they will be in trouble. Just like Dormammu, once he knows of his existence, he will try his best to brainwash the other party into becoming his believer. It's just that you will be teleported when you touch water. This kind of curse is kind of interesting. Ji Yuyi said with a smile. Memory erasure can prevent the impact. That's too simple. She has the magic of memory erasure, so the threat of the fearful beast in the sea is nothing. Viewers can rest assured that seeing the fearful beasts in the sea through this screen will not trigger any abnormalities. Just when many people were worried, this sentence came out from the screen, which immediately made everyone feel at ease. 
Now start predicting the universe where the fearful beast in the sea will appear. After the sound sounded, everyone stared at the screen, waiting for the results to come out. The universe appears, the world of Ultraman Leo, please be prepared. After the electronic sound sounded, Feng Yuan and Zhu Xingtuan's expressions changed. What could actually appear in our universe? Feng Yuan couldn't help but take a deep breath. Their world was already destroyed by many aliens and monsters every day, and now such a weird monster appeared. We don't know how many casualties it will cause. When thinking of all the casualties in the past, Feng Yuan couldn't help but clenched his fists. Don't be nervous Feng Yuan. At this time, Zhu Xingtuan spoke. Believe in your own strength. As soon as this monster appears, you can quickly deal with it. Zhu Xingdan's tone was particularly solemn. Is it a monster from another universe? It's really an unprecedented challenge. At this time, there were a bunch of barrages on the screen. Usopp. Fortunately it didn't appear in our world, otherwise we would be in big trouble. Luffy. It's true that my abilities can't be used in the sea. Akainu. Although I don't want to agree with pirates, I really don't want to fight this kind of underwater monster. Jiraiya. Ultraman Leo Universe. What a strange name. I wonder what kind of abilities it will have. Tony Stark. How curious. While everyone was sighing and looking forward to it, the scene on the screen switched to the MAC team base. It is late at night, so there are only two people, Zhu Xingtuan and Feng Yuan. Tony Stark. What's going on with this high-tech looking base? Zhu Xingtuan. This is the base of our MAC team. Standing on the space station, we monitor the universe in real time to prevent alien invasion. Once aliens and monsters invade the Earth, we will attack immediately. Nick Fury. What? Your functions are actually the same as our shield. And it's still on the space station. Tony Stark. Ha ha. What an interesting idea. It makes me want to build a space station. Natasha. Are you kidding? A space station is not that easy to build. Tony Stark. That's nothing to me. Tony Stark said that he had already asked Jarvis to arrange the establishment of new projects. Because of the contained objects, he has realized that the Earth is facing new challenges. If there is a space station like the MAC team that monitors the Earth and the universe in real time, it may save a lot of things. In the S.H.I.E.L.D. building, Nick Fury looked at his colleagues on the screen with interest. His Heavenly Sword Bureau in the space station is like this, but it hasn't been fully developed yet. He was very curious about how the Earth defending organization in another universe fought. At this time, Feng Yuan and Zhu Xingtuan ignored the screen, but looked around in confusion. Why was the picture showing them here? Where did this photo come from? At this time, Zhu Xingtuan found a photo on the ground and picked it up in confusion. When he saw the photo clearly, his face instantly became ugly. What happened to Captain? After Feng Yuan noticed Zhu Xingtuan's expression, he immediately went over and expressed concern. As a result, when looking at the photo clearly, my eyes had to be enlarged. The protagonist of this photo actually looks like the fearsome beast in the sea I mentioned before. Zhu Xingtan and Feng Yuan now know what this terrifying monster looks like. Tick tock, tick tock. At this time, the sound of water drops sounded. The two of them turned to look behind them at the same time. The MAC team's faucet is dripping. Obviously this is just a common phenomenon. But for some reason, their pupils were extremely dilated as if they had seen something particularly terrifying. Even I will be affected. What kind of monster is this? It was at this moment that the stars discovered how different the monsters from another universe were from their own. Difficulty keeping calm. Captain. Prepare a tank of water for me. Feng Yuan took a deep breath and made a firm request with a loud voice. Idiot. If you face it unprepared like this, something could easily happen. Can you show your true strength in the water? Zhu Hoshidan felt that doing so was too risky and immediately objected. According to his idea, targeted training should be carried out first, such as resistance and pressure resistance training, to avoid the problem of not being able to exert maximum strength in the deep sea. Captain. We don't know which sea area this monster is in now, and how many people are being harmed. Once there are casualties, it will be too late. However, Feng Yuan's attitude was very serious. He didn't know the consequences of taking too many risks. But when he thought about the current problems of the Earth, he really couldn't do the special training honestly. 
If a victim appears, and there is an invasion of aliens in this universe, there will be trouble on both sides, and it will be trouble if they can't escape. It must be solved now when you have time. Zhu Xingtuan wanted to say something else, but looking at Feng Yuan's firm eyes, he understood what he meant and could only nod. Okay, but we must come back alive. After Zhu Xingtuan finished speaking, he immediately prepared a tank of water for Feng Yuan and let him soak in it. Sure enough, Feng Yuan disappeared instantly in the next second. Then the screen switched and he appeared in an unknown deep sea. Many people have expressed their opinions after seeing this. Diana. This person named Feng Yuan is too risky. He is obviously an ordinary human being but he has no preparations. How can he fight? Patton. That's right, that's not how to prevent the situation from getting worse. Warring states, it's so stupid. Even if you have to send people, you should arrange enough people. How can a leader act so nonsense? Tony Stark, if it were me, I should search the seas around the world and prepare weapons. How could I be unprepared? Loki, sure enough, people on Earth are all equally stupid no matter which universe they are in. Vegeta, haha, I think the same thing as you about this. Sun Wukong, hey, don't underestimate human power. Frankie, that's right. Human power is beyond your imagination. Piccolo, U0026 Sanji, Goku, Brook, you have no right to say that. The Marvel Universe, Shield. How can this Mac team be so reckless? Can they protect the Earth? Nick Fury, who was looking forward to it, sighed helplessly. I still wanted to learn their ways, but now it seems that they should learn their own way. If it were me, I would never take such a risk in the beginning. Instead, arrange some unlucky people to test, prevent locators and other things, and then study the strategy. Going to die in the first place is sheer nonsense. Just when everyone was talking and thinking that Feng Yuan must die, Zhu Xingtuan's words caught everyone's attention. Zhu Xingtuan, I will allow Feng Yuan to do this because he has special abilities that you can't imagine. After seeing Zhu Xingtuan, Everyone couldn't help but wonder, does Feng Yuan, a seemingly ordinary person, have any special abilities? Could it be someone like a ninja or someone with devil fruit abilities? At this time, Feng Yuan was in a deep sea. He endured the oppressive discomfort and looked around, looking for the fearful beast in the sea. Ho 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 ho. A strange roar sounded. It didn't sound like a sound that a normal creature would make. It felt like it came from ancient times. Moreover, any creature will feel chills after hearing this sound, and it will be difficult to restrain the fear in its heart. Feng Yuan quickly turned his head along the source of the sound and saw a terrifying monster approaching him quickly. The lower body of this monster looks like an octopus with various tentacles all over it. Each tentacle has sharp claws on the top. Its face is like a huge crow's face, and you can see countless sharp teeth from a distance. This terrifying monster is the containment object, the fearful beast in the sea. Feng Yuan looked at the fearful beast in the sea that was getting closer, stretched out his fist, and the ring representing the lion's pupils emitted a dazzling light. Leo. Under a ray of blue light, like a supernova explosion, Feng Yuan transformed into Ultraman Leo and stood in the deep sea. He used both hands to grab the fearful beast in the sea that was approaching rapidly, and then kicked it backwards with a kick. Ah. Leo got into a fighting stance to face the fearful beast in the sea and entered combat mode. When people in other worlds saw Feng Yuan transform into Leo, they were dumbfounded and extremely shocked. Luffy. How cool. I turned into a giant. What kind of ability is this? Naruto. Awesome. Is this psychic magic? It's so cool. Tony Stark. Wait a minute, this is not a question of cool or not. Why can humans become such giant giants? Zhu Xingtuan, because, Feng Yuan is not from Earth in the first place. Tony Stark. What? Everyone was shocked when these words came out. Star Cluster. Feng Yuan is a prince from the L-77 Nebula in Leo, but his hometown was invaded and destroyed by evil space people, and he finally fled to Earth. Zhu Xingtuan. The appearance of Feng Yuan I saw before was the form Leo lived on the Earth. This posture is his true face. Tony Stark. What? This is his true face. Such a huge creature can actually disguise itself as an earthling. What kind of superpower is this? Nick Fury. This man is actually an alien with such a large body. Nick Fury looked at Leo in disbelief. 
He thought that Feng Yuan would definitely die. The MAC team was too reckless. Unexpectedly, the fact slapped him in the face. This Ultraman Leo universe is truly unfathomable. At this time, the battle between Leo and the fearful beast in the sea has begun. Ah. Leo's movements in the water were not affected much, and he still displayed a speed far exceeding the speed of sound. He instantly arrived in front of the fearful beast in the sea, and used several sets of punches to attack the fearful beast in the sea crazily. It was crisp and powerful, and in a short period of time, it defeated the fearful beast in the sea without the ability to fight back. Ah ah. Leo then performed a roundhouse kick and kicked the fearful beast away in the sea again. Before the opponent landed, he quickly jumped up and landed directly on the fearful beast in the sea. The knives in both hands kept coming down to attack its body. Ah. The fearful beast in the sea was beaten quite painfully, and his voice was filled with anger. This is its hunting ground. Any creature that comes here should be slaughtered by it. How did he end up getting such a terrifying prey and beating himself up like this? This is difficult for the fearful beasts in the sea to accept. Ho ho ho. The fearful beast in the sea roared, and its tentacles immediately stretched out, wrapping around Leo's body from other angles. Then he pulled hard and fixed Leo hard, making it difficult for him to move. The powerful force of the tentacles made Leo unable to break free for a while, and his whole body was strangled in great pain. Seeing this, the fearful beast in the sea immediately opened its mouth and spit out a stream of dark red light balls, which wildly bombarded Leo, causing a big explosion. Now Leo was like a living target, being bombarded at will, feeling extremely painful all over his body. Leo wanted to struggle hard to get rid of the tentacles on his body. But the fearful beast in the sea also used all its strength to tightly wrap around Leo, not even giving him a chance to move his arms. Ah. Seeing that Leo was standing like a target after being beaten by him, the fearful beast in the sea immediately jumped up with its huge body. He opened his mouth and bit Leo's head, then closed it forcefully. I want to bite Leo's head into pieces. Uh huh huh. Just then Leo's battle cry changed. The timer on his chest flashed. A red light bullet burst out from the timer and bombarded the fearful beast in the sea. Boom. The terrifying explosion directly forced the fearful beast in the sea to loosen all its tentacles, and its whole body was blown away, falling heavily in the distance. Hey ha! Leo seized this opportunity and jumped up with all his strength, doing a backflip in the deep sea. Then he raised his right foot to gather energy and used Leo flying kick, which hit the fearful beast in the sea hard. In the past, any monster or alien would definitely die if it was hit by Leo. But I don't know if it's because it's inconvenient to exert force in the deep sea. Although the fearful beast in the sea was kicked until it vomited blood, it was still not killed. Again, Leo looked at the fearful beast in the sea that was seriously injured by his kick, and felt that he could kill it with just one more attack, so he prepared to use Leo's flying kick again. Boom. In the next second, the ground behind Leo suddenly exploded, and two tentacles stretched out from it and grabbed Leo's neck. Then a huge monster emerged from the ground, hit Leo's waist hard, and at the same time released its tentacles, knocking Leo away. Boom. At the same time, the hill on the seabed next to it suddenly exploded, and a monster that looked like an octopus appeared. It hit Leo's side hard, knocking Leo further away again. When Zhu Xingtuan saw this scene through the screen, his expressions changed instantly. Monsters of the ocean, the two-tailed monster and gallows. Morihoshiden recognized what these two monsters were, they were both monsters from the ocean. Why does it appear suddenly? Could it be that these two monsters happen to exist in the sea area where the fearful beasts of the sea are located? And they were adopted as younger brothers. Zhu Xingtuan guessed in shock. It was just as the stars thought. The two-tailed monster and gallows stood on both sides of the fearful beast in the sea like the guardians on the left and right. After the fearful beast in the sea stood firm, it slapped the two of them with its tentacles angrily and roared from its mouth. It seemed to be reprimanding them for being late. These two monsters were so honest that they didn't have any objections and allowed themselves to be beaten. Then they looked at Leo together. Ding dong ding dong. At this time, Leo had just stood up, and the timer started to flash. His energy was no longer enough. The sudden appearance of two monsters immediately made everyone nervous. Nick Fury. Why did two monsters appear again? Isn't there only one fearful beast in the sea? 
Zhu Xingtuan. Those are our local monsters. There are many such monsters living on the earth in our universe, threatening mankind at all times. The MAC team not only fights against alien invasions, but also deals with monsters on the earth. Nick Fury. What? There is such a monster there. How can humans survive? Kazaru. This looks much bigger than the Neptune type. Strange. Then we're in trouble now. It's very dangerous for the situation to turn into a three-on-one situation. Luffy. And what's wrong with this Leo? Why is his chest flashing all the time? Star Cluster. That's because there is insufficient energy. Leo's activity time on the Earth is only 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Once this time is exceeded, the energy will be exhausted and he will be unable to fight. Tony Stark. What? These three minutes are not enough to do anything. Why is there so little energy? Zhu Xingluan. Because Ultraman's energy comes from the sun. The Earth is too far away from the sun to get more energy. It can only rely on its own accumulation. Moreover, Leo has to divide energy to maintain the human body, so the energy will less, so every time Leo fights, he must kill his opponent in the shortest time. Diana. It's so hasty. What will happen when the energy is exhausted? Zhu Xingtuan. Leo will change back to Fungyuan's appearance. Naruto. Isn't that doomed? How can a human body face three monsters? While everyone was talking about it, Leo was beaten by three monsters and was at a disadvantage. Faced with the siege of three monsters, Leo retreated steadily and was unable to resist. As soon as he caught the tentacles of the two-tailed monster, he was sneak attacked on the waist by gallows, and then stabbed in the chest by the mouth of the fearful beast in the sea. Wanting to counterattack, he just kicked gallows away, but was knocked down by the two-tailed monster and the sea monster, and he almost didn't even have a chance to stand up. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. The timer on his chest flashes more and more frequently. If this continues, Leo will really run out of energy. Feng Yuan's body appears in the sea and will inevitably end in death. The stars watched this scene through the screen, took a deep breath, and decided to support Leo, so they simply entered the water tank and sank into the water. Not long after, the stars appeared in the sea, and they saw Leo being pinned to the ground and beaten by three monsters. Everyone saw the appearance of the star clusters and expressed doubts. Strange. Is this the star cluster? What does he want to do? Do you want support? Patton. But he doesn't seem to be carrying any weapons. How can he support him? Jiraiya. Isn't this guy going to die? Just when everyone was wondering what the stars were going to do. I saw Zhu Hoshiden folding his hands in front of him, then his eyes widened, and he used ultra telekinesis. Powerful telepathy covers the three monsters and affects their brains. At this moment, the two-tailed monster and gallows, who were attacking vigorously, suddenly froze in place. Then they shook their heads like they were drunk, and even bumped into each other. Only the fearful beast in the sea was just dizzy for a while, but was not affected much. He immediately turned around and looked at the star clusters. At this time, Zhu Xingluan looked uncomfortable. Ultra telekinesis had already consumed his lifespan, and now he was suffocating at the bottom of the sea. The pain is ten times more than before. Stand up quickly, Leo. Zhu Xingden endured the discomfort and looked at Leo who was still lying down. Ah. At this time, the fearful beast in the sea roared, opened its mouth to gather energy, and prepared to deal with the star clusters that were in the way first. At this critical moment, Leo immediately stood up and grabbed the crow-like mouth of the fearful beast in the sea. Boom. This caused the energy in the mouth of the fearful beast in the sea to explode directly in its mouth. Let the fearful beast in the sea groan in pain. Leo then turned around and kicked away the fearful beast in the sea. He also knocked down the two-tailed monster and gallows on the same line, causing the three of them to lie down together. Ah ah. Seeing this, Leo immediately focused his energy on his hands, emitting a ray of light. This is Leo's strongest light skill, L-77 light. Powerful light penetrated these three monsters, causing a big explosion. Boom, boom, boom. The horrific explosion shook the bottom of the sea, and the explosion wave wreaked havoc. Leo quickly ran to the exhausted Zuhoshi cluster and blocked the explosion wave for him. But at this moment, the two of them disappeared at the same time. Mac Base. Zhu Xingtuan and Feng Yuan quickly climbed out of the water tank and took a deep breath. Seeing that the two of them were still alive, many people breathed a sigh of relief. Chopper. 
It scared me to death. I thought they were dead. Doraemon. It would be great to come back alive. Natasha. But what did the star clusters use just now? Why did the two monsters suddenly become motionless? Is it super power? Diana. Zhu Xingtuan is definitely not an ordinary person. You also have some special abilities, right? After seeing the question on the screen, Morihoshidan took a few breaths and answered. Zhu Xingtuan. Yes, I have powerful telekinesis, and I often use this technique to help Leo. Although I can't kill monsters, I can still interfere with them. Zhu Xingluan would not talk about his own affairs. Although they were not in the same universe and would not affect each other, he did not want to say too much. Nobi Nobita. Super power. It sounds so cool. Nick Fury. As the captain of an organization that protects the Earth, he actually has superpowers. This is really incredible. Naruto. Uncle, you are so awesome, and you dare to risk your life to rescue. It's really amazing. Luffy. That's right, someone who cherishes his companions like you is amazing. Zhu Xingtuan. Thank you. When Feng Yuan saw Luffy's cherished companion, he couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. He was trained so miserably every day, was he cherished? Natasha. This sounds more reliable than our director. The Marvel Universe, S.H.I.E.L.D. After Nick Fury saw this comment, he immediately looked at Natasha with a speechless expression. Natasha pretended not to know anything and moved her head away. Speaking of which, what if this kind of monster appears on our Earth? At this moment, Hill suddenly spoke. That's impossible, it's not a universe. Patton immediately rejected it. That's not necessarily true. Don't forget, our universe also has aliens and incredible powers. Maybe there are some monsters sleeping somewhere. Hill said this. After hearing this, Nick Fury immediately blocked the rebuttal he wanted to say at the beginning. Yes, there may be some monsters in our own world. Even if there aren't, what if there are still monsters in the subsequent containment and appear on their Earth? S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't have the ability to deal with that huge monster. If we really encounter it, I'm afraid the entire S.H.I.E.L.D. will be dismantled. When he thought of this, Nick Fury felt very heavy and felt that the future was particularly unclear. Then he took a deep breath, took out the old pager from the drawer, and pressed the button. Now the woman wandering in space must be called back, otherwise such a huge monster will really appear on the earth and no one can stop it. On a private jet, Tony Stark's mind was filled with the previous scenes of Leo fighting monsters, and he couldn't forget them for a long time. He had the same idea as Nick Fury, what if a big monster like that appeared on this earth? Mark Armour is no match for monsters. To deal with that kind of big monster, you have to be of the same size to be able to fight against it. You have to develop giant robots. An idea immediately came to Tony Stark's mind. This reminded him of the giant robots he had seen in movies and cartoons before. Before, he thought it was just a fabrication and it was difficult to do, but now it seems that it has to become a reality. Jarvis, set up another project for me to develop a giant Mark robot. Yes, sir, but sir, you have already established many projects, and I'm worried. Don't worry, I can handle it. I won't sleep at all. Tony Stark waved his hands impatiently. How could he think so much in this situation? Comma Taj. This Leo and the stars are quite powerful. Gu Yi was a little interested in these two people. After seeing these worlds, only Leo's strength can catch his eye. She could see that the power of Leo's L-77 light was not simple. Master, what should we do if this kind of monster appears here? Strange asked with a worried look on his face. Whether it was the fearful beast in the sea or Leo's local monster, they all gave him a shocking feeling. Don't worry, with my ability, it's not a problem to deal with a few of those monsters. Gu Yi said quite confidently. Don't underestimate Master Gu Yi's magic. The power of her magic is not something that a mere monster can resist. Modu reminded. Strange couldn't help but widen his eyes after hearing this. What? It's amazing that magic can be so powerful. This made Strange suddenly determined to learn magic. In order to survive in the future, he must become stronger. Asgard. The residents of Asgard stared at the screen in stunned silence. The battle between Leo and the monster was something they would never forget. Hey, brother, if you face those three monsters, or the one named Leo, can you win? Loki looked at Thor with a smirk. Are you kidding me? I can definitely win. 
After hearing this, Saul immediately waved his arms with confidence. With my strength, a big monster of that level is nothing. I can solve it with just a few hammers and thunderbolts. Fortunately, that fearful beast from the sea did not appear in Asgard. Otherwise, I would take it personally and give it to father as a pet. Thor was still so confident and did not take the fearful beasts in the sea and Leo seriously. Thor, don't be ridiculous. Odin sighed helplessly after hearing this, feeling that his son was too arrogant and failed to see clearly how terrifying Leo was. Dragon Ball World. Sun Wukong is running on the snake path. Are you from a dead planet? He looks a bit like me. Sun Wukong still remembers Raditz telling him that planet Vegeta, where he was born, was struck and destroyed by a meteorite, and he happened to be sent to Earth. This Leo looks very strong. If we were on the same Earth, I would really want to fight him. Sun Wukong thought with burning eyes. This giant can actually threaten me. Vegeta stared at the screen in disbelief. He didn't care at first. I believe that everything that appears on the screen is not a threat to me. But Leo's appearance interrupted his thoughts. The last light that Leo emitted made him feel a strong threat, and he felt that if he faced it, his life would be at stake. This made Vegeta, who had always had a high opinion of himself, gasp heavily. I'm not afraid. If you dare to show up, I will definitely kill you. Vegeta clenched his fists hard to encourage himself. He was a proud Saiyan prince, how could he be afraid? Uncle Piccolo, this guy named Leo looks very powerful. If he were on our earth, he could fight alongside us. Sun Wuhan looked at Leo showing off his power with admiration. Humph, that level is nothing. Seeing Sun Gohan praising Leo like this, Piccolo felt very unhappy and snorted arrogantly. But my heart was filled with all sorts of emotions. Why are aliens so strong? I have to get stronger. Doraemon world. How cool. Doraemon, can I become a giant like that too? Nobi Nobita said with a starry face. If he could become like that, wouldn't he be able to win the hearts of many girls, even Fat Tiger would be no match for him. You can use a magnifying flashlight. It's not like that. I want to look so handsome. Why are you like that? Do you dare to fight monsters? Hearing this question from the soul, Nobita was stunned and his eyes evaded. Seeing him like this, Doraemon immediately sighed helplessly, then looked at the screen and thought. It would be a bit troublesome if such a big monster appeared in their world, and they don't know what props can come in handy. Although he has countless props, they are basically one-time use and are gone after use, and he doesn't have enough money now. Ah, being poor is such a painful thing. Doraemon sighed helplessly. DC Universe. Diana thinks about Leo's battle. It's interesting. He's an alien who protects the Earth. He's a bit like the Green Lantern League. I really want to fight him. Diana's fighting spirit was ignited by Leo. She could tell at a glance that Leo was a master of individual skills. If Leo appeared in this world, she would quite want to challenge him. As for fighting monsters like the Terror of the Sea, she would kill as many as they came. The difference in body size is nothing to her. Congratulations on the successful containment of the feared beast in the sea. Now rewards will be distributed to Fengyuan and Zushengguan. Fengyuan gets the Kaio Fist, and Morihoshidan gets the giant robot Guntras. After an electronic sound sounded on the screen, Fengyuan felt that there was a lot more information in his brain, and then there was something that looked like a controller in Zushengtuan's hand. Tit 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 tit. At this moment, the bass sounded an alarm, and something huge suddenly appeared. Captain, what's wrong? A huge robot suddenly appeared on the ground. The anxious shouts of the ground patrol members came from the base's intercom. After Zhu Xingtuan heard this, he immediately thought of the reward that the screen had said. Don't act rashly. I'll be there right away. After learning about the giant robot's appearance, Zhu Xingtuan looked at the remote control in his hand and immediately left the base with Leo. King of the Kai is a move from the Dragon Ball universe that can increase the user's strength several times. The stronger the user, the higher the multiple, and the greater the burden. Guntras is a giant robot from a certain superstar god universe, which is specialized in dealing with giant monsters. It has amazing combat power and converts energy by absorbing oxygen. Its biggest killer is to hit the sun, increase the sun's heat by 10,000 times, and detonate the solar system. The screen explanation of these two rewards shocked everyone. Tony Stark. What the hell? 
This rewarded robot can detonate the solar system. It's so scary. I really want to study it. Although Tony Stark knew the terribleness of this robot, he couldn't help the enthusiasm of the scientist. What's more, he is now developing a giant robot, and it would be best if he could have a reference. Tony Stark. Hey, Zhu Xingtuan, will you study this robot later? Can you send the data? Nick Fury cheered when he saw the message sent by Tony Stark. How could S.H.I.E.L.D. not study such a powerful robot? Zhu Xingtuan, let me take a look first. Zhu Xingtuan is very confused now. This screen actually gave him such a terrible robot. What is this doing? Don't let anything unexpected happen. Thinking of this, Zhu Xingtuan speeded up the plane and hurried to the ground. At this time, Sun Wukong sent a barrage on the screen. Sun Wukong. Even the King Fist can be used as a reward, how is this done? Feng Yuan, do you know the King Fist? What is that? Sun Wukong. It is a move that controls one's own chi and strengthens several times in one breath. Jiraiya. Strengthens several times. There is also such a move, this is a trick that can widen the gap between the two sides. Tony Stark. No way, it can be strengthened several times. The Leo Ultraman just now looked very powerful. What if it is strengthened again? After seeing Sun Wukong's words, Feng Yuan couldn't help but take a breath, and then showed excitement. He was worried that his enemies would become stronger and stronger in the future, but now that he has used the King Fist, this worry is gone. As long as he can really increase his strength several times, he will not be afraid of any monsters or aliens. Sun Wukong. It's just that this move puts a lot of burden on the body. The higher the multiple, the greater the burden. Now I can only use the King Fist twice. Vegeta. Haha, only twice. Isn't this your trump card against me? If so, forget it. Sun Wukong. Don't underestimate me. When you meet me, you will know how powerful I am. Tsunade. Mr. Sun Wukong, can you tell us how to practice the King Fist? Seeing Tsunade's speech, Jiraiya was stunned at first, and then immediately gave her a thumbs up. If you can learn this kind of move that increases combat power several times, it will be very beneficial for Konoha. As for the burden problem, with Tsunade's medical ninjutsu, you are definitely not afraid. Sengoku. We want to learn it too. Sengoku noticed Tsunade's intention and reacted immediately. Now that the navy needs to improve its strength, the King Fist is undoubtedly the best choice. Seeing this, Nick Fury, Tony Stark, Ancient One, Odin, and Diana all showed curiosity. Such moves also have a certain appeal to them. Sun Wukong. I can teach you, but I don't know if your power can be used. Piccolo. Baka. Don't say it out loud, it will be troublesome if the Saiyans find the weakness. Sun Wukong. Oh, yes, sorry. Seeing Sun Wukong finally refused, everyone was disappointed. At the same time, they couldn't help but complain about the screen, why did they pull other people's enemies in? Vegeta. Humph. At this time, Zhu Tuan and Feng Yuan came to the ground. In an open space, a huge robot appeared at some point. Captain, I don't know where this robot came from. A team member ran to Zhu Tuan anxiously and said. Is this Guntras? Zhu Tuan looked at this mighty robot and showed a look of surprise. What? Captain, do you know what kind of robot this is? The other team members were stunned after hearing this. When Zhu Tuan was about to explain, an earthquake suddenly occurred. Then the ground in front of him suddenly exploded continuously, and a monster with a gray body and whips in both hands crawled out from underground. Gudan. Seeing this monster, Zhu Xingtuan immediately recognized that it was a kind of underground monster, Gudan. Quickly evacuate the crowd. The other members of the MAC team immediately evacuated the onlookers and took out their guns to shoot Gudan. However, Gudan was not afraid of such firearms. Instead, he was enraged and walked towards this side with a whip. Just when it seemed critical, Guntra's eyes suddenly emitted red light, and then automatically moved his huge legs to walk forward. It moved. The robot moved. Everyone was shocked to see this scene, and they didn't know what to do for a moment, fearing that this robot was also an enemy. Captain. At this time, Feng Yuan looked at Zhu Xingtuan, and then looked at the controller in his hand. Zhu Xingtuan immediately reacted, and then raised the controller and shouted, Gantras, listen to my command. As soon as Zhu Xingtuan finished speaking, Guntras stopped moving forward. 
Yantras, destroy the monster. Zhu Xingtuan gave the order again, and Gunteras immediately resumed action and walked towards Gudan aggressively. Captain, what's going on? The team members were all confused when they saw that Morahoshidan was able to control such a large robot. I'll explain later, you first evacuate the crowd. Zhu Xingtuan immediately spoke and dismissed these team members. Let me see, Gunteras, how powerful you are. After the stars finished speaking, they looked at Gunteras with some enthusiasm. He can't transform now, his ultra telekinesis can't be used continuously, and Leo is fighting alone. This Gunteras may be the biggest turning point in changing the situation of the Earth. At this time, the Marvel world, the streets of Brooklyn. The containment object, the fearful beast in the sea, has been eliminated. The host receives feedback rewards and teleports others to the area where the fearful beast in the sea is. Xie Yun heard the system's reward sound in his ears. It feels like there is some extra information in my mind. Teleporting the enemy to the fearful beast in the sea. If they are at the level of Ancient One, teleporting them there would be useless. Xie Yun thought about it and felt that it was pretty good, but a bit tasteless. We can only look forward to the rewards later. At this time, the screens in front of other people in the world have entered the next inventory. Now take inventory of the next contained object, 3D glasses. After the voice finished speaking, a 3D glasses that looked like those found everywhere in movie theaters appeared on the screen, which suddenly confused many people. Nobita Nobita, aren't these the 3D glasses in cinemas? It doesn't look like anything special. Doraemon, Nobita, it's definitely not easy for this to be used as a containment object. Tony Stark, then I'm really curious, what's so great about such glasses? When everyone was confused, the sound on the screen sounded. The 3D glasses look no different from those used in movie theaters, but no one can imagine how scary they are. Then the screen switched to a place that looked like a laboratory. A man in prison uniform is sitting in an office chair with 3D glasses in front of him. No. D250, put on these glasses. I know, it's just glasses, why is it such a big show? D-250 looked at the group of guards with guns around him, and had to complain silently, and then put on these glasses. As a result, the next second, the picture suddenly changed. The original laboratory turned into a deserted desert, and there seemed to be a tall tower in the distance. Um. D-250 was confused for a moment when he saw this scene, and then quickly took off his 3D glasses, and the scene in front of him immediately changed back to the laboratory. Then I put it on again, and it turned out to be a deserted place again. Nobi Nobita, so handsome. Are these some kind of movie glasses? Tony Stark, if it's just like this, it's nothing at all, right? Nick Fury, we'll find out as we read on. Where is this? Is it a movie? D-250 said confused, then tried to stand up and move around. It actually looks like you are really walking, and the touch is very real, not as simple as watching a movie. Huh. What is that? At this time, D-250 saw some strange shadows not far away and walked over to take a look. When you get closer, you find that these shadows are particularly strange bipedal creatures. The whole body is black, the hands have claws, the head looks like a cylindrical shape, with various red spots scattered all over, and the facial features are completely unclear. This looks quite weird. What is this? The monster protagonist in the movie. D-250 stretched out his hand in confusion, and was actually able to touch the creature. At this moment, the creature turned its head hard to look at D-250. Hi. D-250 subconsciously greeted him, only to be attacked by the other party with his claws. Stab it. D-250's chest was scratched with very hideous wounds, and his heartbeat could almost be seen. The huge force knocked him away directly. Ooh. The severe injury and pain caused D-250 to scream repeatedly. Ah. However, the creature had no intention of just letting him go, and instead let out a roar. Then nearby creatures were attracted. When they saw D-250, they all roared with great anger and rushed towards him to attack. Don't come over. D-250 saw this and screamed like crazy. He quickly took off his glasses, and the scene in front of him returned to what it looked like in a laboratory. Then he looked at his chest, and there were actually scratches on his chest. What happened to D-250? 
Did you come into contact with a creature from another world? At this time, a voice came out from the laboratory radio and asked, not caring about his injury. What the hell did you do to me? What is that thing? Ah. Uh. Just as D-250 was shouting, he suddenly howled in pain. He didn't know what was being attacked all over his body. Various wounds appeared constantly in every part of his body, and blood was pouring out crazily. Ah. After D-250 screamed halfway, his throat was scratched and he could no longer scream, and finally fell heavily to the ground. At the same time, the 3D glasses fell aside. Through the 3D glasses, you could see a large group of creatures from another world just walking away, and each one had blood on its claws. No one knows how the contained object 3D glasses appeared. As soon as you put them on, you will be transported to another world. In that world, a group of terrifying monsters live. Once you come into contact with them, they will the target is pursued relentlessly. Even if you take off your glasses and return to the real world, their attacks will still touch you. They will never stop until you kill that person. So no one should wear these scary 3D glasses. Once you see those weird creatures, don't make any contact and take them off immediately. Seeing this, all the viewers were stunned. They had never seen such a terrifying ability. Nick Fury. My fact. What the hell kind of ability is this? Teleport to another world, and the creatures in that world can hit people far away from the air. That's outrageous. Tony Stark. This is not scientific. What kind of superpower is it? Natasha. This ability is so terrifying. Anyone who is attacked by that kind of monster will subconsciously take off their glasses. Only to find that they are still being attacked, they don't know where to run. Jiraiya. Doesn't it mean that once you encounter such a creature, you must kill them all? Sengoku. It's not that simple. The monsters that appeared on the screen at the end were so densely packed that I don't know how many there were. As long as one is missed, it won't end. Usopp. These glasses are so scary, I don't even dare to wear them anymore. Tony Stark. I just have a collection of sunglasses, how can I look straight at them? Marvel Asgard. Hey, man, this looks a bit like your stealth attack method. Thor spoke in confusion. That's different. Loki shook his head vigorously. His only method was to cover his body with a blinding method, but the group of creatures were not invisible, but attacked from a long distance, and could even see the opponent's position. This cannot be explained by advanced magic. Odin had to show a gap expression at this moment. Being transported to another world is nothing to him, Rainbow Bridge can do it. But the small glasses could do it, which surprised him. But what was even more surprising was the group of terrifying creatures. To be able to hit the opponent even though there is a gap in the world, this kind of method cannot be explained by any long-distance attack. Magic fixed point tracking. It looks more advanced. What kind of terrifying creature is this? Odin's expression became more solemn. If he encountered such a creature, he would never dare to take off his 3D glasses unless he was sure to destroy them all. Just imagine how frightening it would be to be attacked suddenly and not see anything. Comma Taj. All the magicians opened their mouths and looked shocked. Is this a blow from the gods of high latitudes? Wong said in shock. He has read a lot of books and learned that some gods can attack even from a distance once they come into contact with them. Are all these creatures gods? No, if it's a god, there's no need to attack with claws so primitively. At this time, Ji Yu Yi shook his head and explained. They only have the ability to strike at high latitudes, but they are still very weak. When Ji Yu Yi said this, he couldn't help showing surprise in his eyes. Such a creature actually has such ability, but its body is very weak. This contrast is really strange. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.